Okay, oh, we're live. My camera's way up high. One second. Tilt this down. Is that low enough? I lifted my monitor up a little bit because I noticed I was looking down a little bit too much while playing Destiny and it was bugging my neck yesterday. So, there we go. I might use the monitor up. Camera's in the right spot. Yeah, we're good. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, God, I'm trying to do this. I'm sorry. Um, bam. Okay, so I need to do a Vanguard op real quick so I can get that stupid Guardian rank level out of the way. And that will let me have armor mods, I think, is what I'm getting for it. And, yeah, we need armor mods. Important point of progression from what I remember. Or from what I've been told, I guess. Not what I remember because I've never had these. <laughs> so, no, I'm just sit in here. I'm just getting sorted and then we'll hop into a playlist. We'll knock that out. Then I'm going to do some onslaught, I think, to try and get my sword. And then, what else? I don't know. Um, if I check the playlist, I'm curious. It's regular Vanguard Ops, 1600, Nightfall, 1770. Should I start with regular ones? Just I, I don't think any of these will be too hard. I'm more concerned that like if I don't know how a mechanic works and I get confused or something, I don't want to mess it up for other people. So maybe we'll start with the normal ones just because I have just to see how some of the just to get warmed up and see what the mechanics are like. I don't think it'll be actually challenging to do the Nightfalls. I just I don't want to throw. Well, other people are like actually putting an effort. Get that ready. Guess I could put my camera down so that my little profile is not covered or whatever. And let's check my phone. We've got it up on Twitter. Yeah, low key. I'm also looking forward to the Final Fantasy 16. Update I just saw. Um, it's not the worst idea. <laughs> uh, internet never changed anyway. Fallout show is good. I've been watched. I think I've watched two episodes. Did we watch the third? No, I watched two episodes. First and second episode were cool. Long girl liked it as well, which is neat. She's actually like, she actually wants to try Fallout, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna grab a, get my Xbox set up in the bedroom with the TV and see if she wants to try playing a Fallout game.
<laughs> so I don't need this now. Just switch to that. Oh, I do this, and then. The bank would be better. Oh, there we go. Also, with my since it's the normal version, it's really hard. I'm sorry, I'm really enjoying my time. There's a lot of dumb stuff that I'm like, what the hell, but it is fun. As was expected. Oh, that's cool. He's got a little dado data on his ship. That'd be the ships. I love the little banner flags coming off the back of mine. These are cool. Ship design in Destiny is not that bad. Got it. Hive forces are lashing out from the cosmic room, led by a disgraced wizard named the Booker. Is disgraced? She narrowly escaped a previous vanguard operation with her life. Now the brood questions her strength. She'll be desperate to prove herself. <laughs> I should probably open voice comms since we're not playing in a party. I'll do that after this one. Eliminate her before she regains her footing. Lots of movement ahead. Be ready for anything. Oh my god. They went way up here fast than I did. I'm a noob! Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm a noob! Trigger stops around a couple I should actually call it. Raiding party ahead. You seem thrilled about Nevota's presence. I don't appreciate it. Oh, it's a Got it. Put shield servitors. Yes. These guys. One metal.
I'm reading dense hive signatures in the facility up ahead. I don't like this. It feels like a trap. Then spoil their plans. Boop, boop. Okay, we get it. Let's go. Cool. I'm just trying to get the little quest done to kill things with the scout rifle for the LC rifle or whatever. And then I can focus my sword in onslaught. Close now. She won't escape this time. Retreat isn't an option for her anymore. Not with the brood doubting her. Expect the worst, Guardian. The voter has no choice but to defeat you. Energy signature. That's her. That's Navota. Oh, 
here. Good job, squad. Destinations, tap. Oops. So, to get good stuff, let's see. Deep vessel. Underdog snapshot. Oops. Do, do, do. Zavala. Good, you're back. Make good use of it. As you were. I know Ikora has things under control, but to remind her, I'm here when she needs me. Yeah, we did it. Okay. Now we go rank up. Should get armor mods.
So if I go to my no, third character, okay. oh wait, isn't there a? Mm. No, it's just right next. to use a different art damage or damage to stage. She said she wanted to express herself, so I gave her a thumbs up. Resonance. I'm here, I want resonance. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't want to do the solar damage. I don't know I want that, so I'm peace. <sighs> what do you get? Rank 6? I got that one. I do this. This. I remember I did do two strikes. Okay, this one. Um, um. There. Okay. So now have I done this? I click Oops, lost. What? what are you talking about? Oh, slot specific. Okay. Wait, what is it? Hmm. How is this now? I There we go. Okay, so we did that. So it's probably going to additional. Okay, but not 
increase the energy level on. But if I try and do it here... Oh, it'll let me now. Okay. Challenges. Wow. Okay. So now we can put all the ones we actually want. So it's super and yeah, super energy, yes. That. This one and that. It's class of the energy in the box. And so anything that went in mainly I get for me. Mm -hmm. You've got to be kidding me. 
perhaps. A barter is warranted. You don't have anything for me. You mind. What do you need? How can the Vanguard help? Something good for us now. Come back soon. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. See you soon. They're vendors. Come on. I think folks feel safer seeing this. Or uh, I'll find them. Those two. <laughs> I have a new week to pass anyway. Plus, plus, plus. Very welcome to this message. No, 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 no. Stuff. Hmm. Okay, it's ribbon stuff. Let's get a match. Okay, unfinished business. So it's just a bounty. Huh. Up the stairs we go, up the stairs we go. Okay, go over here. So. I see so your problem. Not enough stopping power. Yeah. Ah, one think? of our brightest returns. I know you'll use this well. Is there any else to go track for yours to actually send it in with? Even steel needs sharpening. Don't stray too long. Let's go talk to the postmaster. Checking. I should set this up here. Thank you. Thank you. Checking right away. Oops, I need this person. There it is. So much. It is difficult to walk in a single day.
not all battles are outside the walls. Take time to walk the streets. Let the people see. I wonder what so I go to this. Don't you? There's a good spot. Let's go. It's the only thing we need. Vendor challenges. Crack blue. They are typically earned we weekly vendor challenges which shows blue glyphs on the destinations. Weekly bounty, is that right? Let's go to. I do not worry. Every day I look for the helpers. I see the heroes among us. We just blue glyphs on the destination screen. What? I mean this. Okay, just gain reputation on the glyphs. Gotcha. We're gonna go here. What else is there? We can machine. Okay, let's do gossip is always yeah. about <clears throat> let's go that way. Those days I pay no mind. But what I This. I'm thinking your left fist and your ready to take on some baddies. Okay, so I'm do. You got it. Finish one of these before things reset tomorrow. Should be able to. Only one set. I need to go to like 6 30, so. Attempting to check in on my physical and psychological status. You do that kind of thing often? He and Saint and Ikora are concerned for my safety. Okay, this way. Siegebreaker's database for mentions of the other four cloud striders targeted in that Vex attack. Just references Stargazer and some kind of secret number crunching algorithm. No context. So I need you to restore Stargazer. Yes, just about that one. Hmm?
Says, it's a tone at the end of the activity. Which activity? Just any activity. They're just giving me the, the key for an outcome. Go try and see if we can participate. I'm just gonna hope it's that.
really nice to get the next to pop up. So I'm running back. I look at you. I did not see it. 
Oh god, there's a Vex. I found one. Uh -huh. No, no! Damn it. Look at that room. Okay, where are you at, you bastard? I also still perplexed where the Vex where the how do we spawn that event that we had last time? sector patrols what's that? La 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 la. Okay, I just need to figure out how to get this stupid. I guess I could just do it. Let's see. Alright. I don't fuck you. Oh, there's a lot of people. Yo, how do I get the, uh, the Vex event to spawn in the uh, The one that, like, dropped the chest so that I could loot with the key? The. So when you go to your directory, um, it's like, I. On the map, you should be able to uh, search for a uh, terminal overload, and that'll take you to the Vex incursion zone, because that's where that takes place. Terminal overload. On the destination screen? Uh, yeah, it should be on the uh, right side of the map by the, um, or it should be on the map. The map, or right side. Yeah. You'll do the pretty lost sector. Oh, terminal overload, okay. And I can just launch that? Okay. Yeah, and it'll it'll put you in a... Just a random public session. But it'll put me in one that has an active zone. It'll have an active terminal overload going, yeah. Oh, okay. I just need to do... I just needed to... My Guardian Ring, the only thing I need to do to get it to 6 now is 2 weekly bounty rewards or whatever, so I'm trying to do the one for Nimbus. Yeah. Are there any other easy... Are there ones that are easy to do, just so I can knock the other one out quickly? Like, uh... I mean, they're all relatively easy to just take, like... Just kind of grinding. Like, you know, like, kind of go out of your way a little bit. I just need something I can do before tomorrow. Because <laughs> it's a reset. Uh, okay. Ugh. 
this. Okay, thank you. Okay. Don't thank you. La 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 la. They announced he was playing Shadow the Hedgehog in the Sonic movie. Who? Oh, oh, wait, that's actually GOAT. That's perfect. I think he'll do a good job. No, he, he has the right voice for it. He's done he's done other characters that I, that that he'll fit. I think I he has know. I'm just saying that's so like that's I know I know that's such a fan pick, but like I, I think that it will fit the character well. I had to check if it was the real discussing film because sometimes there's like a sometimes they're just trolling. Of this discussing film, and sometimes they post like it's like oh wait, but then you look at it, it's like oh that's a real discussing film. It's like Keanu Reeves' Shadow. Like, like that sounds just troll, yeah. No, it seems like a fake, 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 fake. Okay. Very much here. Oh, fuck you. Duck. Duck. Give me my burning fist buff, bitch. I like how Keanu really will do anything that isn't like that. Yeah, that's true. I, I like that. He'll come around. He'll do. He'll do like a, f a fifth uh, Bill and Ted before he does it. Uh, before he's a Marvel hero, yeah. Well, I just think he thinks they're just like, nah, it really was his time, honestly. Like, not from a pay. Yeah, you put in the Marvel machine. You get, you get the Marvel machine yeah, you're just. Can't. You're stuck. Like, you sign a contract, too, don't you? Like, you're like. It's a yeah, it's a multi picture deal. And yeah, and you're. You're you're, si popular. Yeah, you're like yeah. signed. Yeah, don't they have it set up, too, where it's like, if the character. They set it up where it's like tentative, like if the character or the films like succeed, then you're signed on for a certain number of films thereafter. Um, yeah, that is, well that's just like normal contract stuff with like a multi-picture deal. But, mul so, but multi-picture, oh okay, oh you sign on even if, but like, even do you get paid if they don't do the extra movie? Like, <laughs> uh, it depends on the contract. Yeah. But like with Marvel, nine times out of ten, they don't do like, the way their contracts work is not—it's not like a multi-picture deal. It's based on appearance. So like, yeah. Robert Downey Jr. He had like a certain amount of movies that he would appear in. Okay. Like not just Iron Man, but like Avengers. Damn, and he even had—and he had, had, like, he had some small cameos, so they clearly got him for plenty of them. Jesus. Yeah. Well, Locked sometimes they can do like non-contractual, like just show up on set one day, they'll pay you. Yeah. Well, like I know. I know the only one that has it like really bad is Tom Holland, because his his deal isn't through Marvel, it's through Sony. Because Sony owns the film rights to Spider-Man. Oh yeah. But they're like, fine, Marvel, we guess you can use your character. Fine. Not like Disney, fine. They're all the same thing now. I'm surprised Disney has to try to buy out. Oh. Let me tell you why. I, I love monopolies. I love the fact that they own. I don't. I don't think. I don't think Disney could do that. You, but, you say that, but they own. They own 20th Century Fox. They own. Star no, I, I, I'm they aware. Own I did. I, I'm just saying, like low key, like the. I, I just the only reason the I don't think laws they, aren't real. They're not real. Well, They're only for oil barons. Well, I know that, like, it's an issue. I just don't think they would get away with it. I don't think Sony... I don't think Sony would accept it. Not only that, uh, again, there are only some... There are only a handful of companies out there that could buy Sony, and I don't think Disney's one of them. Disney's I'd have to, I'd have to check the numbers, but, like, I remember it being, like, Microsoft being one of the only companies that could buy them, and, like, Microsoft is one of those companies that's, like, so much larger than Disney, it's not even comparable. Like... Like Disney Microsoft, has double, it has double the market cap of a. Uh, yeah, it, you need a lot more than that, though. That's what I I'm know. saying. Yeah, that's that's why I'm saying that. Like, I figured they, you need to be like a 10x the person you're fucking doing that to, you know? You're just gonna buy them like that. Obviously like, just... not. Disco Discovery bought Warner Bros. and look, like, they, they're struggling for money. <laughs> okay, well, like, I don't know how that shit happened. Ah! 
WB was desperate because they kept putting out bad uh, superhero movies and they were losing a lot of money. Sounds right. Because it oh, turns yeah. out when you put out movies like the Joss Weed and Justice League cut, nobody wants to watch it. Oh! Defeat Minotaur Fire Packs? Oh, it's the boss. Okay. Wait, let me change gear. Let me change out of this rifle. Fuck, stop shooting me. I don't like being shot at. That's not fair. Someone hasn't seen Bridgerton. Ah! Bridgerton is like it's okay. It's not my kind of thing. My fiance really likes it, but the colors in that show are fucking gorgeous. Like that show, like it makes a shitty part of the like world and timeline like look really pretty. No, this, this, they're they're trash and like I I it's the kind of thing I never would have watched it like but my fiance watched it and I just I sat in and ended up getting into just like I know some of the stuff that's happening but mostly I'm just like ooh pretty. I'm saying, like, why why is Fallout one of the only shows with color? I'm just really happy. It's I'm just so happy it's good. Yeah. Like honestly, because like I I just not for any I don't care about any narrative like like some agenda about video Boring games no no like no just like i don't care about video game adaptations being like a thing like in the sense that i'm past the point that i care about it like, oh if they get it yeah like I, I like i don't care about any of that anymore i'm just more on the i'm at the point where i just want it not because i want video games to be taken seriously or anything they're already, they're already taken seriously if you're making a movie that's the chump change the game already makes more money like <laughs> Uh, you know, so it's like, I, I look at it from the perspective of, like, I just want to see them do a good job because I like the IP that are, I like video game original IP because they're the IP that are closest to me and my interests. So I just, it's cool seeing them get to reach into other media because other media have IP that reach into games and it works a lot of the time and that doesn't go the other way around, you know? So that... You're also starting to start to figure out that, uh... You're not trying to translate a video game to a show, you're trying to make a show out of the idea of video game. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're learning it's not supposed to be some, like, Fallout did a really Fallout I think is such a good job because it, the, the biggest thing is that it's specifically the kind of task, it's specifically the kind of game that I think forced them, at least as a decent creative team, to reconcile with the nature of a video game and how to like actually make a narrative out of that in a separate medium because i think all the most of the games they attempted with are games that either have no narrative or the narrative is already completely perfectly written out for them you know right so i think for fallout to be a very open-ended open world rpg series from start to finish that has a very it has a narrative but it's mostly just about the world and, and, and characters in that world like i think that was a really cool like opportunity for them to make something and i thought they were gonna honestly i thought they were gonna throw it just because it's really hard to do that but i'm also glad that they had the foresight to recognize that like yeah you have to do your own thing you have to lean into the strengths of each medium and it's not just about iconography and callbacks and references like yeah there's lots of those and it's cool and it's like yeah the guy's shouting dog meat yeah haha i get it like <laughs> You know, I, I like that stuff, but um, I'm glad that they have so much more than that, you know? Also, who the fuck? Okay, incels are literally blind because I don't know her name, but that, that lady's hot. Lucy? Yeah, her, she has the she has some pretty eyes. Both my fiance and I were like, my god, she's beautiful. I'm like, hey. Uh, I saw her in the 
saw I saw one too that was kind of mean. It was like they could have saved a lot of money on a leader battle and just like add the effects if they cast it instead. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's mean. To be fair, like, I, is it mean though? Is that a diss on like Alita or a diss on her? A I don't know if it was like a diss. I think it was just. Cause she's like, I, I really like her eyes. I think they're really pretty. Ooh, ah. but, uh, Ooh. I was like, I was surprised how much it like, feels like Fallout. Yeah. It's not just like the music. Like I. No, it's not just the music. They can no. tone down the needle drops a little bit. No, I like them. They're episode. fine. I am comfortable like, like with all of it. I'm okay with it. I just Fallout is my favorite thing about Fallout that they realized they understood is that Fallout is grim, but it's also fucking campy as hell. It's campy and satirical, and cynical and silly. Like they lean, they leaned into the the goofiness and the absurdity. Like, like the yeah, gore. Like they treated it like a black comedy. Yeah, like the like like when like when yeah like when the fucking in the vault when the dude like puts his the gun in the dude's mouth and then shoots through the back like that's so Fallout like in or, the or like, like the second episode when the when the ghoul is like yeah when he's just wrecking shit yeah that was so cool like I love that like that's so Fallout the way that he did it so callously and like with so much flair and with this absurd little weapon that just doesn't exist like I love that like. like and it shoots little torpedoes or like aerial torpedoes. Just see, <laughs> they look like little air bombs. It's just a really big caliber bullet. Yeah, but it's like I love how they are shaped like little fat men or little like yeah. Like, I it's like a, the, uh, the, little, the like, sound. Like, the, kill cam, you know what I'm about? Yes, yes. Yeah. And the sound effects. Oh, the. Yeah. Boom, boom. I was like, what the fuck is he shooting? And I was like, is that a grenade launcher? And I was like, that's a, like a Fallout original weapon. Holy shit! Like that's. I was like, that's commitment. I was like, that's cool. Also, New Vegas fans are dead to me. <laughs> They're dead to Bethesda too, that's why they keep dissing them. <laughs> Good. They deserve it. I like I like New Vegas, but like Wait, why can't wait, why did it did, why did it give me the quest but then not give me the chest? What is this? Because you needed a terminal overload key, and that's like you get that from doing a bounty at a but, it, but the know, quest, weekly but bounty the... that you have to unlock her later. But the quest counted, so, huh. Because you just had to complete the terminal overload. Defeat the Vex Hydra in the ESI terminal to obtain a high security passcode. How do I do that? What the fuck? I think that's that? a, it's a place on the map, I know that, but I don't know where. Oh, okay, it's it's oh. it's pointing in the direction of this. I think, like, like I, I really like the, um, like some of the needle drops are really good, but then it's like the the one that bothered me a lot was like in the no spoilers. I'm, I'm still only two episodes in though. I'm I'm only on ep I'm on episode four. Like, uh, okay. On the second episode, he, uh, it's like when he gets power armor, starts playing girl. I'm like why? I know it's from Fallout Four, but like why? It doesn't really fit. Uh, honestly, I think I was kind of just really taking in the design too much. I didn't even notice that needle drop. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I remember it, but, like, I wasn't thinking about it. Like, I don't, like, I can't even put the song in my head right now, even though I know what happened. Um, yeah, I, I was, I was honestly staring, I was just staring at the power armor. Power armor is really cool. They did it so the good. The fact that it's practical is amazing. The fact that it's, I, it's just, it's just perfect. It's picture, perfect. even when he got in it's it from behind. Perfect yeah, I, like, yeah, I was just like, too. I was just like, oh, they just used a TV budget and Amazon money to make a proper T60. Awesome. That's what I want. It's <laughs> like, holy shit. Like, that was so cool. And then, I didn't even realize the show was directed by Christopher Nolan's brother. No fucking way. The, the science one that he, the scientist one? Uh, Jonathan Nolan. I don't know if he's like the scientist. One of his brothers, like, one of his brothers, I remember, he, he consulted. No, he's not, he's not, he's not is I could have sworn his brother was. Huh. I don't know. No, why. he's a uh, Chris Nolan's brother. Who was it that Nolan consulted with in Interse Interstellar? He consulted with a specific person that I thought he was close to, who was actually like, who was an astrophysicist, just to like try and get things looking cool, but also as close to realistic as you could imagine. Yeah, there was. I remember there was a whole thing about it. He, he worked like. Yeah, he talked about uh, he talked about some like. I don't know why I thought that was. I don't know why I thought it was his brother. Like I remember that being the story that his his brother was the person that like, was. Maybe he, he has a third brother. Yeah. 
maybe, I don't know. Or maybe uh, Jonathan Nolan was really into that. Yeah, maybe it's just like directed, his uh, hobby. I didn't know he directed uh, Fallout. That's cool. So and he also like, he also like, uh, he did Westworld too. Which is really cool. I only watched the first season of it because I heard after that it got really bad. And I honestly, I see anything with what, even though I know it's a sci-fi, I see anything Western themed. I go. Oh, yeah. But that's just because I. That's just because like I don't have to go to Westworld to hear people talk like that. I can just go outside and want to die. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually just like I'm looking at a, a trailer. Right now. Why does this show have the, the the series Mr. is famous Ghost, for like it? its lack of color? Hello, who is this? Oh, well, that's just that's, that's a limitate that's a limitation of the game, and that's not a, like the 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 no, like, art. Even Fallout 4 didn't have that much color. I yeah, but like that's 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 a lot more the world than I feel like like the the environments like the ta the places that have Fallout identity have always had a lot of color. The natural environment has always been ugly, and like Megaton and like Fallout Three and shit was gross. But like if you go to like you know if you go to the yeah if you go to the main city in like Fallout Four like there's lots of color there. It might be not the game might have saturation turned down more than it probably should, but like they're. I think they just don't, I think Fallout doesn't like, I think the games don't want to lean into the silliness of, not the silliness, I think the games le don't lean into the camp quite as hard as the show does. Um, the show takes a lot more than the Yeah, no, and I, I think that like, I think it's, I think it's, honestly I think it's just a creative difference. I would like to see more color in Fallout, but like we can just, we can just turn up the color up, you know, like, yeah. Honestly it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah. Like, I think I'm, I'm just glad it's bright looking in the show, though. Like, I think having things pop is a good choice. I will say, um, there a, in the second episode, when she's talking to the guy at the fire, um, I had a glare on my TV. Just the middle I could not I see that roach. See I could see, I could see, but I could not see that roach. I don't think you're supposed yeah. to be able to make it out clearly, though. I don't know. They're probably just hiding, like, hiding the effects. Honestly, it's probably for the best. I mean, it's dark out. Like, you're, you're dealing no, with, saying, like... like Hiding, hiding oh yeah, they're, they're... So it's also because it, it probably wouldn't look very good. I mean, it's a fucking CGI it's cockroach. Yeah, like you don't need to see it up close to really get the gist. Yeah. Oh my sure. god! This fucking Hydra, homie. I remember there was a brother came up with the line. Oh shit! Did he really? He said, uh, "Chris Nolan said his biggest regret." Is that is that an original from the films? I'm gonna be honest. I thought that was a Batman OG line. Like I thought that's from no, the that's comics. No, just like that was just a line that they wrote. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. That dude. That 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 fucking the, people owe that s trilogy so much more for Batman's like success in the modern age than they want to admit. I don't think it had to do with his success. I think it had to do with showing people that comic book movies didn't have to be Batman 1966. Yeah, but like, I think it's also, again, it's like, it's taking something from campy comic edgy to, like, that's, that's a kind of thing that, yeah, we think of it now as kind of silly and cliche because it's been around. It, it's been a thing that's been said for so long and we know what it's from. But in a vacuum, right, you watch a movie for the first time and you hear a line like that. That's a thought-provoking line, right? Like, that that doesn't fit in the nature of what people assumed comic books were, right? Yeah, Chris Nolan said that, like, his biggest regret was that he didn't write that line <laughs> his brother. Oh, yeah, that'd be, I'd be pretty pissed, too, if I, uh, that was my movie and one of the best lines in it was someone else. Because I, I, I still think the uh, the Matt Reeves one is, like, the best, like, Batman movie. But, like, the that, That's Knight a new trilogy, one, right? Yeah, that's the newest one. The uh, Dark Knight trilogy, they did a lot because they uh, showed people that uh, Batman... They put Batman inside of a real movie so that uh, people would watch it. And they Put did Batman it. inside of a real... You know, you're not wrong. That's what they are. They're crime thrillers with Batman. If it works, it works, I guess. Yep. Didn't work for the Dark Knight Rises, though. Oh, are you on? Did you want to do shit? I was just trying to... Oh, I'm, I'm not on right now. But sure, okay. I'll hop on. Uh, if you want to do stuff, I was just gonna. Is there any faster way to earn rep with Nimbus, other than what just I? Just doing his bounties. Just doing his bounties. Oh, I should have some of them done now. Back 
จุดนี้ตัวเดินเจอตัวเดินตัวตัวตัวยิงเข็มเอาไปดิอืมโอเค so is the quest I'm doing gonna give me rep the stargazer it's a neo moon related uh I don't I think the quest. I think the quest give a bit of rep. Okay. I'll go back to what's his fucking you know, bounties from the moon. Oh, uh, quest. Wait, so I have, I have two right now. I have solar. Dead man raided dead domains chat. Wait, where are we going? Yeah. No. Uh, like actually, where the. Is it like afraid to show me my own marker on the map? It always has this problem. It like doesn't want to show me my own. And people are currently living my dream. It's a, it's upsetting. What's that? They did a, a re-release of the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies in theaters, but not anywhere where I'm at. <laughs> they did them in select theaters. The UK didn't even get it. <laughs> Oof. It's only like major, like major theaters. So I'm like. Indiana, Pennsylvania, China. <laughs> Big guns. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I get it, Bungie. I have a pending friend request. Uh, decline. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Quests. What's this? Mini Muna. Defeat the battle. Decisions. Getting the shrimp sidearms. Got rifles. Sniper. Fusion rifles. Okay. 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 Keanu, the whole Keanu Reeves thing. It's like just hearing Ben Ben Schwartzman like interact with Keanu Reeves throughout the movie. And Idris Elba. Just the strangest voice cast when I'm all for it. Okay, we're we going to this thing. Change set classes real quick. Good mean. Sure. Sure. Um. There we go. Friends is finally updated. Public event. Oh, until it starts. I love starting. doing my bounties. I love doing my public events. Right? Isn't this the best part of the game, bro? Please, Bungie, give me more! I'd never, ever get tired of it. Alright, you started. I love doing the bounty, and then cleaning the bounty. Why do they take so long to start the events, too? What's up with that? has been reportedly renewed for seasons four and five on Amazon Prime. No one will use it. It'll take another ten years. Happen. No, they're already done with the voice work. That's what they say. That's what they say. Until they need to reshoot. No, you can't really. You don't really do reshoots for animated projects. Usually, if you need an actor, you don't see them. No, it's just not gonna happen. That's that's the takeaway. It's not gonna happen. There's no one the Invincible's not real. The show's called Invincible, right? Yeah. How many more of these do I need to do, Bungie? 
All of them. And I need like 10 units of bounties. 97%. You will do all your bounties, you will turn them in, and you will get XP. Oh no. And I will die. I'm a pro gamer. Get over there! Wait, no! Ah! Wait, no, wait, no! What just happened? No! I'm gonna get the Oh my god, I was trying- I need this stuff. Stop it, stop it, stop it! I missed you. Big robot, leave me alone. Guardian down. Oh, yeah, Disney Plus is reportedly adding channels to their streaming so, so we we've quite literally come full circle. Yeah, it's like it's just it's just cable again now. But now everything's on a different app. Jokes on them, that would imply I have Disney Plus. I got my bounty stuff. You still see her? I need any of those. Disney Plus would only be point. worth the money the if, uh, the once they fully work. release that Hulu merge. At least the point. Where are we supposed to go? It's still wild to me that Disney has majority stock in Hulu and ESPN. Everything about Disney and that bullshit is wild. Sid, can you hear us? The Cabal just dropped some kind of industrial rig. I see it on him. They're tapping a nanite node, bleeding my baby to death. <laughs> Switch to solar to get some things. I'm solar. Let's get some things. I hate when they're making a switch. I'm like, no, you gross. Only strand forever. Until they die. Sometimes I'm like, why are you a lore YouTuber? Your lore is just speculation. And not even that, just games with, yeah, like, yeah, just like, no, you're right, like, games just without answers, and that's the whole point is to not have answers. More like it's, it's interpreted, right? 
Like, that's very much uh, Bloodborne and Dark Souls. Like, Miyazaki's always said that, like, while there are themes that he likes to include, like, the ultimate endings and messages are very much up to interpretation. He doesn't impulse or have really any specific one way of seeing it that he thinks is how it works. Yeah. I saw a tweet the other day that was like, all the, all the, uh, all the quote unquote Dark Souls fans who won't play Dark Souls 1, and I'm like, you mean Elden Ring fans? We don't like those. Oh, I saw that tweet too, and I was just like, is this another case of just making up a guy? Like, no, this I is there. No, this is a person. There's a lot of like quote unquote Dark. There's Souls fans who aren't haven't played Dark Souls because they're fans of like Three and Elden Ring. I don't, I don't know. Like, I get not playing two, like, cause no, you don't. Two's don't... great. I, I, I like two sometimes. Two but... is better than three, fight me. Oh. I haven't played either of them. Not, not the only one I consistently replay <laughs> okay. is Sekiro, which is in a Souls and then uh, Dark Souls 1. Two, okay, so two isn't better than three until you add the DLC, but with its DLC, it's better than three with three's DLC. I haven't played any of them in the pot. I used to replay, replay all of three of them quite frequently. Except for Bloodborne. I still haven't even played Elden Ring. I, I played it. I didn't even I didn't finish it because I was just like, oh, this is They took away all the stuff I like. Cool. Never mind. Dark Souls 3 again. Uh, you know, it's it's actually no, it's literally it's Dark Souls 3. If Dark Souls 3 didn't have any of the things that make it special. I, I say I haven't played Elden Ring, but I played it for like 12 hours. Yeah. But like, That's me, I, I put like 36 in. I, I played like 30. Um, I like the game, I just haven't like... Got the urge to go and play Elden Ring. For me, it takes away my favorite parts of... It takes away my favorite parts of the Souls formula. It has virtually no replayability. And uh, it's way... There are way too many ways to... It's way too easy. Like, it's a game that's fundamentally like it, it fails to deliver the Souls experience until you get towards the end and the bosses start becoming like ridiculously challenging. And then you see where the like I, I've watched all, a lot of different stuff on it and I've seen all the fights and people are 100 percent right. Like I'm sure you watched Joseph Anderson's video. Like he he's 100 percent right about like how the fights look and feel. Like it's an it's an element of you see they're pushed up against the limit of how to test the player because that system is just it's been thoroughly tested right like um and yeah I, I like both of those and i i resonated with both of them a lot and again like i also went into this uh, the the river well into the under city or whatever and had my mind blown like i i thought that was really cool but it's like that didn't offset the fact that like it took away all the stuff that makes me want to play the game. Like, replayability is a huge part of it. I've played every Souls game, at, except for, like, Sekiro and... What else? Uh, yeah, everything except for Sekiro and Elden Ring. Oh, okay, I haven't played Demon Souls very many times. I've played the main three and Bloodborne, oh god, uh, at least, on average, 20-plus times each. Sometimes uh, Bloodborne's well over, like, 25, 30, like replayability for me was a huge part of those games because i would start a game and every time i start a uh, playthrough i make i would make it my mission to like preemptively build for and play to have the experience of someone aiming for a very specific play style and weapon that i already knew was amazing. so like um like when i started elden ring for example i started it literally knowing i'm like well i know that every souls game has a moonlight greatsword so i'm building for my moonlight greatsword when i find it like um, and it's not, I think I've, I don't think I've finished Bloodborne either. <laughs> yeah, like, and I just, yeah, Blood, Elden Ring just, there wasn't, there's, there's no reason to go back. Like, and, and it also killed me because it was way too easy most of the time, and then it was really hard. Like, it didn't ever prepare. I, the thing I it, didn't like about my 12 hours is, like, even in the first 12 hours, there's so many duplicate bosses, man. Yeah, there's a lot of duplicate things. Like, again, it's like, people act like it's this, like, holy, like, original thing. I'm like, they did a lot of the same copy-paste bullshit. I've heard people talk about how, like, the map is so smart. I'm like, they, they, they just took, they just took map markers away, guys. Like, it's not, 
That's literally what- that's all they did, and that's not to say it's not a, a smart choice. That choice gave everybody on goddamn Earth the illusion that they created, like, the most explorable- oh, Yeah, like, the, the most explorable open world. I'm like, it's cool. Anybody are- like, anybody that says Elden Ring's open world is as fun or even comparable to Dragon Dogmas 2 to explore is on- is on actual hard drugs. Straight up. They're just not even- one of them is running around every other open world, but this one has some nooks and crannies. It- what makes Elden Ring cool, and when you're exploring, is that it has soul stuff to discover. That's it. It's because the shit you discover is weird and ethereal and confusing and threatening in the soul's way. That's what makes the exploration. It has nothing to do with, like, the design other than the fact that there's the second map hit. And that was really smart. They get their credit for that. That was really awesome, hiding like the entire underground and giving you a second map. And the way they oriented the map so that as you moved through the game, it revealed itself to be much larger than it seemed at first was also really smart. Like, those are really cool things, but none of the changes that they just... It's just not fun to explore that world. I don't know why people think it is. And, and when you... The problem is, too, is if you do anything out of order, right? The game doesn't tell you the actual order of directions to go, right? So, I'm the kind of person where I would play through a Souls game in, like, an exact order of, like, areas that I knew were, like, easiest to hardest, right? So that I didn't step into an area that was too hard, beat it, and then have something way too easy afterwards, right? That was my entire Elden Ring experience. I went- I- the game wasn't that challenging for me at first, so I kind of just went through shit. I literally had the exact same experience Joseph did, where I literally went back to the peninsula and was like, wait, I one-shot everything, what? Like... <laughs> I, I got the biggest downside because like Yeah, that killed it for one, me too. Like it's just not there, an option. One, it's, like, it, it's 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 very much a linear game, like the, the map's interconnected, but it's still like a linear game. Linearity is is to the benefit of the Soul series, and I think the uh, my my hot take is that the open world of Elden Ring is why it's not as good of a Souls game. It's a it's perfectly fine if people like it as the Souls version of Ghost of Tsushima or whatever, fine, but like to say it's a great Souls game, I think, really misses what Souls games are. Yeah, like, but that stuff's always been there, you know? Like, yeah, that's the stuff where it's like, that's cool, but like, now the part of it is that, again, it's like, when you go through that game, they didn't create the infrastructure to justify making the changes they make. Like, there's certain stuff, like, with PvP and Souls, it's always worked because it's always been kind of a niche thing. And, like, it's always something you kind of do after you've developed a certain familiarity with the game as a whole. It's not, like, a thing that, like, anyone would actually consider or, like, make a part of their play until they were really deep in the community. Right? But, like, yeah, like, bro, shut Like, it's cool, but, like, let me put it this way. I'm good at Dark Souls PvP, but I, it's not because I care about it. it. It's an expression of my interest in Dark Souls. Like, <laughs> like, it's not because the PvP in that game is robust and it's super cheesy. It's super cheesy, like... It's super unbalanced because that's how the game works. Like, it's not yeah, supposed to be like a, it's it's designed a competitive to, thing. It's just supposed to be like. Did this oh, no, did this person show up with? Yeah, did this person show up with a build in your world that doesn't really uh, make it like fun for you to fight them? Good, that's called an invasion. Sucks to suck. Like, <laughs> oh, was that was that not nice of them? Was that bad manners? Oh, it, that's crazy. It's almost like they're there to kill you and ruin your day. Weird. Like. <laughs> Oh, you're, make, you're making your way through Blight Town? Uh, it's like, it's like, oh, I got a uh, terminal overload key, finally. Some guy invaded you, buddy, and uh, guess what? Uh, he has a magic build, and it'll one-shot you. Have fun going back to the bottom of Blight Town. Yeah. I'm a friend that plays all the Souls games on, like, offline mode, because he hates invading so much. I'm like, Bitch. I'm like, you don't get invaded that much. Like, you don't. And there's also, not to mention, if you understand how the game works, you can just choose to basically not get invaded. There's always there's always a catch. You're only ever you're never always a vulnerable to invades. Like there's always like a thing like you're you have. Walking around always human. Yeah, like exactly. There's there's always some equivalent of being human or whatever. It's like, I mean, to be fair, I always walk around in because I don't care about the invades. Like I think it's fun, but they also don't happen that often, even when I'm always human. <laughs> like because I play. It, it involves like. Yeah. 
Dark Souls 1, I don't think it has that populated of a player base. Yeah, it, it, well, and even back in the day, like, invasions are just not tuned to be particularly common. Like, yeah. I think there's a hidden timer when you get invaded. There is. Yeah, like... It's to stop uh, spam invades. Yeah, like, so it's it's never been that bad. It's always been like, oh, you die once? Okay, well, guess what? Like, you die... Like, that's the weird thing, too, is people who don't like it, because they... Dark Souls is one of those games that's supposed to teach you to not fear death by, te by making death something you just have to deal with all the time. But what people take away from that is, oh, it kills you a lot, I'm scared, I'm gonna die, oh no. It's like, no, 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 it's trying to teach you the opposite. You're gonna die, accept it, now send it. <laughs> like, the game's gonna beat your ass up, you gotta lean into letting it do that while you learn. You know, like, but some people just do not know what to do when presented with a challenge. Okay, do I have any more matches to turn in? And then, uh... Plus, I think I might. No. Why is this one not working? A new unit defeat combatants with precision damage from sidearms, scout rifles, sniper rifles, or linear fusion rifles. Am I not? Oh, I'm using a. I'm using a. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm not using a linear fusion rifle. I'm using a normal fusion rifle. Here's going the power slot except for Arbalest. Yeah, so I need a scout rifle or a sniper rifle. I guess. So. And I don't have any special on all these things, stupid. Okay. Yeah, whenever I hear people talk about, like, issues that certain games have, I just, like, kind of think about, like, like, you know, the game doesn't have that issue. So, yeah. It's funny to me, too, because, like, Sekiro is one that I, like, I need to get through and play again, because I know that, like, I'll really enjoy it. But I played it at a time when it was not what I wanted, so I was just disappointed in it. I've since, like, seen how awesome it is, and I need to like, get myself into it, but... Were you I found... people that, uh, went in trying, like, expecting it to be Souls? No, I was expecting it... No, I was expecting it to be Souls with Stealth. <laughs> like... Yeah, you were going to expect it to be Souls. I, I was... I wanted... I wanted... I wanted character customization of some kind. Like, not, like, like character, like, visual customization. I didn't like that I had to have a fucking sword. Like, that was, like, lame to me, because Souls was always about... It was just always, to me, about diversity of playstyle, right? Like, I was fine with it being hard. I was fine with, like, it being about the parry system. I just didn't like that it locked me into playing a certain way. And I get it now that that's, like, a limitation of the game. Like, they couldn't have designed it around a bunch of different weapon types and shit. That wouldn't work. But... At the time, I was just frustrated because I've always been a person who appreciates choice in my games. I like my, making my character, making my build, choosing my way of how to play. That's why I love immersive sims and RPGs. And I, like ident I like having a way to create my way of Skyrim is a free choice. Uh, Skyrim, honestly, is a big part of... That. Skyrim and World of Warcraft are big parts of where that came from, originally. Like, I just remember when I was a kid and I saw that I could make my own character in, in in World of Warcraft. I was like, wait, you can make your own character in the video game? Like, that blew my fucking mind, and to this day, it's just, it's the way I like things. I'll, obviously, I still love games where you don't also make your own character, but... Any, any game that isn't narrative-focused, I want to make my own character. Okay, so I need a scout rifle, I guess. Oh no, I got I got ammo for my sniper. Okay, I'll go. So now I just need to keep earning rep with Nimbut. Nimbut head. Guardian down. Oh. What just happened? Vehicles just spawned and insta fucked me. Okay. A high value target is the Security. Keep your eyes open. Utility lines are damaged in your area. Likely come off. Yeah. Replayability is weird for me because like some games like I can replay them to like the end of end of, end of my life like and Resident Evil like one two I remake or like yeah. games like that it's like I I can play those games over and over again but then there's the other games that I like, yeah I never want to touch that again. Uh yeah like I would never I I have no interest in playing Final Fantasy or Three those ever again. But I really like it. It's just a lot. How many precision kills do I need to get with this thing first? Why do I know? Like, 
Last time I played Fallout 3 a couple of years ago. And after the fact, I was like, yeah, I don't think I ever want to play Fallout 3 again. Yeah, I know, I would never. There's a lot of games that I would never play again. It's already here. I also have this thing where, like, sometimes I'll replay something and I'll be like, eh, I don't really like it as much. I should have played it again. What is shooting me now? Awesome. Does this give me a reputation just for doing it? I believe so. Breakpoint's whatever, but Wildlands is actually like pretty good. Breakpoint's the one that they added the NFT to. Yeah. Well. Criterion Collection Risky uh, 4K for Risky Business is, uh, 50 bucks. Wait. The Criterion Collection, what's that? Uh, it's basically like a... It's a thing dedicated to, like, giving donations to, like, movies that are very important to, like, widely known. Okay. Cool. What is blowing me? Oh, it's a thresher. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that was shooting. Me. Right. Just trying to finish this stupid bounty thing. Yeah. No, you fucks! God, stop it! Stop fucking blowing me up, you fucking thresher piece of shit. That's not a precision kill. So. Let's try and finish this. Mission. Yes. No, that's not good. Okay, let's see, journey, quest, bounties,
Need some ammo. Oh, that works too. We've almost gotten the reputation of the week, you think? Oh, okay, we can go. Yeah, you just, you just told me I was just a collection of games, or movies, or people that care about movies and stuff. Yeah, you know, the risky business one. I've been 50 bones for a pre-order. That's for the 4K, okay? just the normal blue one. I don't know, why do you my PS5 to have 4K movies more than you can play games? I mean, hey, you play games on your PC, I'd say. Yeah. 
like people bought the PS3 back in the day because it was the same price as a well, as a new Blu-ray player. Yeah. So I was like, well, I might as well get the game console with it, I guess. And then people did the same thing with the PS2 because it was the DVD player. Yep. Meanwhile, yeah, Xbox on Xbox 360 was like, dude, trust HD DVD. That's gonna be the future. Although to be fair, the Xbox Series X was not Series X. The Xbox One X was the first 4K Blu-ray player. But I had a VHF model, I thought so much. That one couldn't even play Blu-rays without the Blu-ray installed, so... <laughs> Which, that thing was good, though. Like, that thing was horrible. It didn't work, it didn't read it, certain Blu-ray discs for whatever reason. Actually, no, I would it for no reason. It just didn't read blu -ray. It sucked out of the job. Yeah, I had a VCR at one point. Hey, Destiny, how's it going? We are in touch with you. Post through your nightmares. Uh, it's going good. Um, I, I mean, I'm having a lot of fun. I knew I was going to have fun. I'm just trying to get raid ready. Trying to knock out a couple of guardian rank things. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I played I played Destiny 1 for years, and then after D2 came out, I stopped playing because uh, after the I finished the Red War campaign, it was just kind of a mess. But since the game's about to be over, sort of, whatever, kind of, sort of, Final shape. I figured now's a great time to jump into it because it'll be talked about a lot, and I also just have a lot of comparisons between this and Suicide Squad that I was making in my Suicide Squad discussions, and I was like, you know, I should freshen up on Destiny. And on the bright side, everything I said, this game is kind of confirmed for me. So. In other words, he's just here for confirmation bias. Oh yeah, actually, for real, hundred <laughs> percent. No, I, I'm having a good time. I like it. Got to do chores. All right. Have a good one, good luck, have fun, even though you won't because it's chores. Yeah. Alright, Destroy the anchors to further destabilize the area. Oh, there we go. That's not real. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, fall off, fans. Uh, oh, nobody, oh, no, 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 Hell. Uh. Oh, you fell all the way down. <laughs> I was trying to land on the enemies and hop off. The delay between when you stop grinding and can hop off the board is a little annoying. It, it's like two like full seconds and there's like nothing. Yeah, because like I'm trying to hop off of it and like jump into like my super and then I just fly yeah, off the edge. It's two seconds. Yep. That's half of it. I just need to complete two weekly bounties. Uh, on Neo Muma specifically? Or like... Nope, just in, just in general, but those were the ones I was the furthest on. Uh, okay. spent, that's where I spent most of my time so far. So how many more of these are in the clip? Again, I have no clue anything about the Guardian Ranks, but. If you played before the Yeah, no, I know they, they they have like retroactive ones. Like some of the stuff I've done all like that we did like keeps retroactively applying to like 
Not even that, if you played before they introduced it, you started off at Guardian rank 6. Yeah, just to start. That makes sense though, because you should have everything. Yeah. You all have done everything that's on here. Hi, Isaiah. Uh, did I say that? Isaiah? Hello. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. This is what I wanted. Thanks, Dustin. Oh, yeah. 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 We got two questions. All right, shoot. I have the answers. Maybe not the right ones, but I have them. Near me in the rank plus four. I don't know what that was for. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> this trapped. <laughs> oh, I was trying to like flank between my wall. It's not. That's just so cool. Tsudo, the angry bulwark, wait. Eh, where's that? Where's he at? Doo -doo 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 -doo. How do how do I feel about free 1810? Uh I mean I like it because it just cut out some tedious bullshit I was gonna have to do as, as a newer person. Um I didn't realize although I didn't realize that I was gonna get that when I started. The game was very it was confusing. When it gave me the higher item level gear, it was or power level gear, sorry, item levels what they call it now. Um, yeah, I was I was like, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I appreciate it because this game is just full of ridiculously convoluted systems for no reason. And and, and not having to worry about power level while trying to try out different content and stuff is a nice change of pace. I played a lot of Destiny 1, so I was used to the, you know, having to get to power level or light level or whatever they called it when I kept changing it. Is he dead? He's dead. Thank you. Give me my guardian there. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's... Can you have a, a slot? If so... Also, can you have an empty slot? So how do you un I don't know, can't I don't think you can have an empty slot, can you? Like weapons? Yeah. No. No. You have to have a three. Wait, is this the state Oh we didn't finish it yet? God damn it. No, you're on <laughs> round you're on round two of three. Three of three now. How do we break this shield? Yeah, same. Super, super. No, arbi no arbitrary power level to get up to like Well, the, the, the reason I'm- Okay, the reason I'm happy about it is I saw that, yeah, the power grind was literally gonna be just do easier shit than what I've been doing. Well, like, that was what they were telling me. Because we played through the whole campaign on Legend, that was the very first thing we did. So, our Lightfall campaign. So, like, if it was going to make me go do, like, baby bitch mission, I was going to be good. And it still has. I've had to do a lot of, like, rookie stuff because of the Guardian ranks. Like, I've had to do new, like, crap that, like, I just really don't need to bother with. Like, yeah, I'm new to the game and I haven't played Destiny 2 since the very first time it launched. But, like, still, I, I, I'm not a moron. This stuff's a little bit patronizing. And it's not even well explained. So not only is it patronizing, it's, it's just dull. <laughs> It makes me feel dumb, and it makes them look dumb. Oh my god, if I can hit this. Thank you. I just want my burning fist. Oh, that doesn't apply it, does it? It doesn't. No, that's tragic. Wait. Who decided that? My melee super doesn't apply my melee gear effect. Excuse you? Excuse you? b b bungee b why Do I need to... Do we need to have a guild crafting class, folks? On on why you don't 
Hey, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Ah, ah. Well, we were gonna be playing for uh, a hot minute, so stick around. <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're new to this. I've definitely... I played a... I was confused because of a chorus thingy. Oh yeah. Like, there's just... There's a lot of confusing stuff. The game is fun to play when you get past all the confusing stuff. But they they do not hold back on making stuff just uh, confusing for no reason. <laughs> And they also charge for stupid things, like the dungeon keys. Or, like, I still have the witch key dungeon. Witch queen dungeon key. I've had, like, multiple things pop up telling you to go to the dungeon. Buy it. Better buy it. No, not yet. Buy it. You want it? I will, I will eventually, because I, I, my whole plan is to do, like, all the relevant content that's available. You will buy it. Ten dollars. <laughs> uh. Ooh! No, back up, back up, back up. Boy. Okay, I missed. Boy. Oh, I missed again, what the? If Dungeon Keys are alive by Big Destiny, and Nickel and Dime, you out of. Everything's alive by Big Destiny. Ah, Big Destiny. It's a fucking political. Like, it's a. industry. Uh, the, the, the Destiny Industrial Complex. <laughs> Probably don't need to focus on the hydras, but better than just letting one blow up. Oh wait, no, we do have to kill the hydras to spawn. Okay. Right? Now you shoot these things. That things. The diamonds and the three diamonds in the sky that I was shooting by myself. Oh, diamonds in the sky. Okay. Well, see, you know, you could have said something. I would have helped. Well, I thought some of the randoms would have caught on too. Didn't I? Bro, if I'm not catching on, come on. Don't expect rankings. Ah! Like rank six and seven. Oh. I'm almost rank six. Been playing for five days. It's not an achievement. <laughs> like what? Oh, oh my god, this hurts though. Why are you such a beefy boy? I don't even know. I have a better way to put damage on it. Just drop the shield for now. But I don't know if you can fix it. Don't it. Like, oh, is it fired here? Hello. I can definitely fix it. I was my mic was just pushed a little too far back. And I can turn it up more too. It's just uh No, I appreciate the feedback, because people don't tell me when my audio is not good and it annoys me. <laughs> like I'll find out from a friend, like, oh yeah, you can you can quiet for a bit. I'm like, bro! I need to know that. The people need to hear. People need to know. They need to, they need to hear my beautiful insights. They need to be enlightened. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Leave me alone. Now, now, look, now look up. Oh, I see. Pretty diamond. Rihanna would be so proud. I could actually hit a target, but why? Why is it so... Oh. Where's the other one? <laughs> Actually, I'm turn it this way too. There. I just don't... Yeah, I was sitting a little further back than I was yesterday, trying to not hurt myself. Oh, I just put the barrier sideways. Probably should have put it in front of all those things shooting at us now. Maybe. I did it. I'm an angry. I'm an angry titan. Yay, I can use the key finally. Yay. Yay, I got all the stuff. Way. Memorial restored. Okay. I think I should have finished my two things as well. Quinn visited. Squin. Yeah. Okay. Cool.
Perfect. I'll have both of these done, and then I get to hop into more onslaught till I can get my stupid sword. That I, want. I don't even. I don't even know why I want it. I just know I want a sword because I like hitting shit. I assume it works with my build. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Just final shape cost shmoney. Uh, yeah. I don't have final shape yet, but yeah. Good to see right, you. Quite a quite a bit of shmoney. Quite a bit of shmoney. Right now, I think I think it's fifty dollars for the 50 base version. Fifty shabones or uh, <laughs> shabones. If you want the uh, good version of the DLC. The good version. Toxic. I mean, you're not wrong, but it's a ripoff. It's, it saves you money, like. Yeah, it saves you money. Like, if, I don't want to sound like a bootlegger, but it literally just does. I know like, you're. You're. Like 10, 20 bucks. You are. You're not wrong. Like I, I'm on the same page. Like I'm gonna. Like I'll end up getting the annual pass because I'm gonna be covering the game. Like obviously. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, um, wait let me do the math. Fifty. If they're charging ten an episode. Oh, I have an. What's the same gram? No, because they don't charge ten an episode anymore. They charge twelve hundred, but you can't buy those. You have to buy fifteen. Yeah, it's, it's so evil. God damn it. I was just thinking about you. Like, that's so... like it used to be a thousand. Yeah, they just keep bumping it. The inflation on your yeah, digital goods. Inflation. <laughs> inflation on your digital products. <laughs> that feels good. Wait, so, okay, didn't... so it breaks all like the conventions of like supply and demand. There's an okay, infinite so supply. Vendor challenge. So I finished it. How do I claim what I, the vendor challenge I finished? Uh, the bounty or like. I was supposed to do two vendor challenges, and now it's like it didn't count one of them. What? It says power, powerful, uh, complete weekly vendor challenges. Yeah, so like you know how it says like, like weekly gain reputation with Nimbus. Yeah, I did that, and it didn't count. Mm, that's odd. Did you did you get the uh, engram from him? Maybe not. Because that's how it counts. He gives you an engram. Yeah, or just gear. I thought, yeah, no, I thought I got it. He gave me a piece of... He gave me a mark, the Thunderhead mark. For talking to him, but I don't know if that was... I'll have to check. That might have been just for repping up. That might not have been for the weekly. Yeah, maybe not. It'll tell you on your map your progress with him. Well, it's gone, so now I have no progress with him. So I must have accepted it then, right? Yeah, so you, you must have grabbed it. And it just didn't count? Wow, Destiny. Wow. Oh, wait, maybe... Maybe? Let's see. I don't know. Okay, accept. I'm gonna try to follow this one in. Thank you. Thank you. I found Stargazer's algorithm in the data you recovered. Except it's not an algorithm. They called it the occlusion. <laughs> Love this stuff. My data crawler also pulled some old library. Okay, so did that count? Neither of those seem to have counted. Those didn't, neither of the vendor challenges counted for me. Does it specify like tower specific? It doesn't. It just says then it says literally like here, let me read it again. It says right here, complete weekly vendor challenges to acquire powerful rewards. Zero of two. They say they appear as blue glyphs on the destination screen. Um Is that is that a mistype? Because I thought it's on the map screen. I think so. So, if I had to take a guess, you try logging out and logging back in to see if it updates. And okay. if not, then they meant tower specific. Hey, Dragon, I said to go. Didn't bother to like. If that Wait. doesn't work, then they meant they probably meant tower specific. Like. And they just didn't. It. They just didn't put they it in the text. Because they did. Because I guess they figured that like new lights wouldn't be. Wouldn't be fucking gamers. Them. I'm sorry. God damn it. My fault, Bungie, for knowing how to play a fucking video game. <laughs> Jesus. I hate this. I love it. I like, I'm having fun. I just hate that they insist on being dicks about it. They're like, hey, hey, slow down. Slow down. Don't learn too fast, kids. 
It's like being in high school all over again. You're gonna you're gonna confuse the other students if we move ahead. So then I just brain rotted until I became nothing. Uh strand out. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Da, da, da. Do we have some on? heart and passion with that one? I did not like school. <laughs> I well, I, because I was very academic and I have a real passion for learning, but that passion goes away really quickly when you start feeling like the people educating you aren't qualified to. Oh, no, 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 no. And I mean, I live in I live in like 48th in the nation for education, so I didn't feel bad feeling like they weren't qualified. Because <laughs> they more than likely weren't. No, like it was literally like. I just remember being in like my junior year AP like dual credit history class and thinking I've known all of this shit since fourth grade I'm gonna scream like I, I just remember my, I was just like what what is education here like I I've learned everything so long ago and to be fair I went to a little like I went to like a, a small private school for a few years when I was like an elementary school um and like my teacher there, cause she like ran the whole thing was like very, she promoted just kind of learning at your own pace. And, and my pace was, was really fast. So I got into middle school and was like, wait, why is everybody stupid? And why am I learning nothing? And that basically, that was my experience for the rest of my school career. <laughs> why is everyone stupid? And why am I being taught shit I learned in elementary school? Everything other than math, obviously math, you kind of just have to keep iterating on. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, do, so let's see, won't be, so, okay, so we got to do the Zavala one for the Vanguard stuff. That's, that's, that's good. We'll do that. Vanguard. Right. It's literally, for those, it's literally just do eight bounties, so you can do those really easily. I think this game just doesn't like me. That's my theory, but. Remember, if it's not, if it's not like a raid or end game piece of content, uh, lateral thinking is out of the question. <laughs> I don't think you get that with this. Is this better? The closest you'll get is like a seasonal a seasonal mission where you have to do like a jumping puzzle. <laughs> Bungie, please. Um, They're driving me insane. I don't need this. Oh, I don't need this. Oh, that's what my, my not macros. Uh... Oh, yeah, I'll keep that. Um. I don't know if any of these are worth anything, so I guess we'll keep them for now. Stats, stats. Ooh, 18. Ooh, this one's just better. Okay. And it's discipline is lower. Oh, wait, I just realized your edge skating doesn't use ammo because I can't forget the animation. Do, 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 do. Ah. Bungie, if you weren't coward, you wouldn't put a map border right Oh, wait, no. Guardian down! <laughs> uh, game bonus super on melee kills. Uh, game super. Okay, there we go. Oh, I should make it pretty looking. Uh, which one of my shaders was I using? I don't even know which one this is. Is it? It's this one. Oh, there we go. Woohoo! Yo, what's up? Oh, yeah, uh, if you want to join, you can join. My thing is uh, d d uh, right here. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. Don't worry, I'll find it. Aha! Okay, it's just, yeah, it's my name spell. Wait, no, oh, we gotta go to the Destin, the Bungie version. There we go, there's my name, my Bungie name. This bunch is tedious like that. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a minute. Send me a uh, friend request or whatever and uh yeah I'll add you. That's the nice thing about this game, it's also like easy to kind of just add people to it. Like you don't really, like I was telling Lemon, I was like it's nice because like I can just hop in and play when you were playing or vice versa. Like that's the one thing it has on a lot of co-op stuff. A lot of co-op games are very like oh dude bro, you wanna know what's really sad? The worst game I've played this year, Brizu. Hands down, the worst game I've played this year is Dying Light 2. <laughs> like, by far, like, I've I've only played good games, and, like, that to me feels like the one that's been the most disappointing I've played. 
trying out with Lemon, it was just so tedious. The co-op and oh my god, and the, and the dialogue and the stop and the follow and the stop and the talk and the oh, you get to parkour for thirty seconds now. Stop and talk and stop and talk. It's so tedious. It probably wouldn't be bad on like single player as bad, but like oh god, the co-op it was it was frustrating. <laughs> I'm excited for episode two of Suicide Squad. I wonder what we'll what we'll get. Sounds like we're getting a daily mission type, which is cool. That's kind of neat. I need to log in and grab some care packages and shit. When I saw watching someone stream it, Dying Light Two was such a letdown compared to one. So I played one on release before it got like way better, and everybody loved it. Um, but it was still fun back then. But yeah, two was two was very much a and again part of this was I was playing co-op and that a lot of the co-op systems are not well thought out. But yeah, it was it was very the 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 gameplay like the the running and killing and jumping is great, um, but the uh, you know just the yeah it, it's it's fun like dying light I mean parkour zombies it's a, it's a concept that's hard to miss with you know friend invite can I can I select it with my cursor no then why'd you give me a cursor Bungie? Why did you give me a fucking cursor in my console game even when you used to have one before it was even on PC. Like, that was such a dumb thing, too. Having a cursor in this game on D1, it was console exclusive. Like, uh, UI go burr. I think maybe at one point a PC port was planned, but they never, like, went through with it. Because if, uh, if memory serves correct, the uh, development of Destiny was a, uh, a mess. If, the, if anybody had honestly played Destiny... If they had been on PC, that would have been worse for the game. Because all the MMO people would have tried it, and it would have got shit on. More than it did. Yeah, like, wait, looking back at reviews, it did not get shit on. Like, it was, reviews are generous, bro. Like, I was like, yeah, it's kind of, what it's kind of boring, but like. Like, I remember thinking they were bad, because I remember thinking less of what a 7.5 was, or whatever. But like, they didn't. And then yeah. you had all the YouTubers calling it, like, the worst game of the year. Yeah, I mean, and I, I remember definitely being let down, and but I was let down not because, I was let down because it didn't have the MMO stuff I wanted. Not because it didn't have, like, shooter things I wanted. I was like, this doesn't really feel like an MMO, guys. Okay, so I gotta go to the tower then? Yeah. Okay. Zavala is a slut. Bye, Neomuna. I should have, I, I could have sworn I've already done all those Vanguard, enough Vanguards for him, but I guess not. Um... Do, 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 do. I'm brain farting. I hate that there's two pause menus. It makes me confused every time. I wish it was just like one big, better organized pause I forgot menu. That, uh, I forgot Keith David is supposed to... He's taking over as Zavala next expansion. Wait, no way. Yeah. Oh, that's the only part. I was literally like, how could they possibly... The that's it. Yeah, yeah, you Keith give me... David. You give me the best... The fucking Arbiter. You know what's funny? Oh my god, you call him- I- I'm a fake Bungie fan. I'm a fake Halo fan. I didn't even think about- I wasn't even thinking that. I was like, oh, it's, it's Captain Anderson. <laughs> From Mass Effect. I mean, he's, uh, he's both. And he's also the president. Can I get Strand here? Okay, so the, the way this- So if you have Lightfall, you have to do the Lightfall campaign to get Strand. That's why that was the first thing I did. So over the last, like, three and a half days basically we grinded through the legend version of the campaign so i'd get the exotic at the end um so that was like the very first thing i did was the lightfall campaign because that's how it get, that's what gives you strand because both me and my friend lemon were like we want grappling hooks we're gonna play game for grappling hook ah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's unfortunate they don't they should let all this everybody get the subclasses for free to play that's kind of as I'm thinking no, about that's kind of do you I'm saying like I said I said no I think you should get get it but it's like it. no because like oh it's part of the campaign experience uh, it's like no, no just give it to everyone just give it to people like don't be stingy oh, assholes. quite literally paid away <laughs> most paid like, PvP I mean, you're not playable if you didn't have stasis for a time I mean yeah I that's not an inaccurate thing call it paid away honestly when, when when that when it's at that point, not obviously on a whole, but in those moments. Strand you know. was never that bad, so I wouldn't call it pay to win. Yeah, 
Um, but Stasis was, yeah, I, I've heard Stasis, like, every time someone mentions PvP in, in Bungie, they're like, oh man, but Stasis, though. Like, in, in Destiny, like, like uh, it's fundamentally not fair. Like, it's literally, you don't play game, I play game. <laughs> like, with people... one button press, your yeah. opponent cannot move, it, it's cannot one of... shoot, cannot do anything. Yeah, it's one of those classic, it, it's it's the basic game design principle of you can't add something that makes the other person not get to play. People don't like that. <laughs> Especially, like, it, it, it's different in, like, a MOBA to have, like, hard CC. But having hard CC in a fast-paced arena, like, in, in a fast-paced arena. Yeah, like, again, it's, it's like, like in, even it's in, like in, in Overwatch, it, it'd be, it's like in Call of Duty. That's the thing, is your health bar, it's like having Halo or Call of Duty with hard CC all the time. Like, you're, it's not like Overwatch, where you can take a pounding while you're hard CC'd. You're kind of fucked. <laughs> like, it's like in chess, it, uh, what's it called, if you spent $40, you permanently get another turn. Should they add turn. trade? No, they shouldn't add trade, because then that's when that's how you get real money trading. And also, trading in Destiny would be... The, the weapons are so easy to get. Like Yeah, you, you, you get stuff pretty quickly, honestly. Um, especially now that there's weapon crafting. Okay, I gotta go to Zavala. I gotta keep my brain on track because I start talking and I forget what I'm doing. Zavala. Hello, Zavala. Zababa. Zabambi Nambi. Okay, wait. So, it should say on here if I have his... I have to complete four more bounties. Okay, so I have four. What are they? I know Ikora has things under control. I have... In Vanguard... Play okay, I can't do that one because that's stasis. Fuck you. It counts for stasis weapon types too, which I believe I'm... Banshee's selling one of them. Attack defeat combat, so I'll invent that playlist. Defeat combatants with solar damage, I can do that. Defeat combatants with grenades, I can do that. Yeah, Banshee's selling two stasis weapons right now. Oh. <laughs> I already invented it. Let me grab another one. Is it the same one? Oh, it's the same one. Oh, perfect. Now I can just do the auto rifle version instead. I know Ikora has things under control. All right, let's see. Is that what that is? Auto rifle striker. Yep. Okay. Vanguard playlist. Time to do a Vanguard. Time to do a Vanguard. Time to do 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 a Vanguard. Wait. So I find level high enough. Why is it? You have to have a. You have to have Witch Queen to do Nightfalls. Excuse you. Because though it's the weekly Nightfall. Oh, it's the weekly Nightfall. Okay. I get it now. If it, if it was like a free one, like it was like a... Uh, shards you get from breaking down your yeah, legendary stuff. Yeah, you get them from everything. But whenever you dismantle a legendary, you get some. And then, um, I don't, how do you get ciphers? I, I meant to ask that, other than from the annual pass. Exotic ciphers? Yeah, because Lemon needs the Quicksilver Storm. Um, find Zer. I don't know. Isn't he, he doesn't doesn't he literally only appear once a week? No, he. They made it so now he appears from Friday to Monday, like throughout. Okay. From Friday till reset. I mean. Okay, so he's there this week, right now. Yeah, he's right now. And then okay. he'll give you a quest. It's like do like twenty activities, like just do like twenty strikes or something, and then you trade it in for an exotic cipher. Oh, but you have to do the twenty before he's gone. It carries over from the way, so if you get it on Monday... Okay, so it's not a bounty, Friday. it doesn't expire, it's a quest. Yeah. Okay. It's called, like, Xerology. Okay, so we gotta find Xer, then. That's good to know. You said you can go to, like, four different planets, right? For the first three? Oh, uh, like, three, yeah. Okay. You should, well, you should take a tour, you should show me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll figure out where that. Uh, secondary weapons, do I have anything that's, like... There's a fun right there. Sure, last for it. All right, Guardian. This is a smash and grab. Smash some hive, grab a chunk of submine. And live to tell the tale. Do -do. That's awesome, Osiris. Thanks, Rob. He's like, I'm helping. <laughs> I'm explaining. Osiris has a little bit of shit. He's kind of like, hang out over the top and you off the floor. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. Ah! Not, Sagira's, not. Sagira's dead, so she can't do anything. Wait, ghosts have names? Why doesn't our ghost have a name? I didn't know other ghosts. I okay. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know ghosts were actually like. This is gonna sound dumb. I yeah, like the way they're framed, it's really hard to tell. 
No, they're sent to you. Okay, so they have their act. Those are, their personalities are personalities. It's hard to like. There's a weirdness to it. You know what I mean? Like. Because yeah. they they normally aren't sent, uh, sentient, but the light gives them sentience. Okay. Oh, so they're normally a thing even without the light. Okay. Well, like yeah, they're they're useless. Though. But they exist. Because they're vessels of the light, so they can like exist they're little... before the travelers show up. I got you, Catman. Ah. Oh, I got this. Uh. Big shield. Uh. I need to. I probably should have Drenner's Lash on. Uh. And I'm not the the the, the band lead, whatever. He's on there. Sniper cannon. That minute, patch opening and setting that perimeter tower to friendly. You're welcome. Mm. Oh, what? I wish you could. I wish you could use your. Good mark here. I don't know. I want to use it everywhere. Most combat specific instances you yeah. can bring out your skimmer. That makes sense. I just want to. I want to be able to shoot things open, from it. Give me mounted but combat. Worry, we are missing a piece of our enemy's plan. Maybe for now. Destiny but we'll 2 have a is totally going to have, have ship code out when it comes out, guys. Destiny, dude, Destiny 3. Destiny 3 is going to have skimmer combat. Skimmer wars. Not sparrows, just skimmers. S just skimmers, yeah, no. And you have to buy one still. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a joust. It's a day one pre-order bonus that's in the shop for twenty dollars. <laughs> God well, damn. In that case, I would pre I'd, I'd, I'd probably pre-order just because I'd end up pre-ordering Destiny three anyways. Well, I mean, same, but it doesn't change my point about how stupid that'd be. <laughs> oh, I need to be using. Hang on, so two dollar, two dollar ninety nine cents bacon. Wait, what is this fat blue thing? I've never seen that. That blue thing? It was crawling at me. Oh, that's a scream. That's the uh, that's the scorn's exploded, right? Oh, scorn. Oh, I haven't actually noticed scorn as an enemy type. I thought there was. They were in Forsaken. They're not in a lot of content. Okay, I was gonna say I've only. Are are they tormentors? No. Scream are fallen, but like reanimated. Oh. Not screams, but uh, what the fuck is scorn? Uh, scorn are just reanimated taken. No, Fallen. Fallen God, yeah. Everything has the same stupid name. Uh, it's okay. It's because everything is like used as a. Uh, they're all adverbs or whatever, descriptive. Adjective. Yeah, the, all the adjectives are all descriptive of actions, though. Like, they've been taken. Fallen they've been taken. fallen. Yeah, like. Except for Cabal and Vex. Which just get but to be special. Then, Cabal is just army, and then Vex is like. No, okay. I'm sure Vex is I just need to hit my sniper shots so I get my fire damage. What if I keep strafing in front of you? It's, it's honestly, it's been Dude, great. Dude, I just got devil XP. Oh my gosh. What's that? I got 666 XP. Oh, nerd. <laughs> Satan's gonna come kill me now. Do, do, do. Hold out, room. I like the battlegrounds. They're like strikes, but like they have a lot more enemies to shoot. More stuff to shoot to this one. Because that was an issue with strikes for a while. Because uh, because of power creep. Uh, what's it Catch called? Catch me in, and I'll get that door open again. Because of power creep, there was a uh, some some missions just didn't have enough enemies to shoot. Oh yeah, have you ever seen my ghost? Mm, maybe, probably. Yeah. I think I've seen you. You've shown me yeah, before. Right yeah, he's right over here. This is, this is what you get for solo flaws. There we go. Did I get it? Stupid no, that's ghost. a triumph. Not my. Hey, it's all right. Strand final blow. So, Vala Bounty's completed, but yes, yes, okay. Oh, he's here. Oh, he's here. Yeah, 
get it. they ever introduced in this game. It's so satisfying to complete them, just because of the amount of XP you get. I feel like I'm just going to put it in another one. Yeah, I've... Oh, I've completed this. I've heard Captain Progress on my own. The other is right there, it's fine. I know I'm on fire. Gamer hole. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> I just see land, dude. Uh, no, Titan, stop. I mean, you can't do all that. I can do whatever I want. I'm, I'm, I'm. Spam jump through vents. It makes it faster to cut through them. Oh. Pro strats. Do do do. Security re-up. Want to see a post no right here? Guardian. There's a secret, there's a secret thing up here. It's not secret. It's marked. Let's go. Where are you? I'm blind. I got. I'm blinded by the light. God damn it. Oh, what are you? I don't even see that. Oh, there you are. Right, now it's time to go get the thing. Okay. It looks like who's what? Each five seals destroyed. Where are the seals? On the door. You go either right or left. I see, I I did it really? Here we come. This wasn't it took them years. That's <laughs> that's why people didn't like doing strikes because there's no scoring. Because like, even though it's it's literally meaningless, just like it's just something. Strike no. is just like it's it fun. gives you yeah, it gives you a reason to try, so you can be like, hey, I did better than my buddy. Like just how co -op, it's cooperation. This, this. Oh, 
this man. Come back here. You bitch, come back here. There's one more. There we go. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, that's just... Did I have an item? Oh, okay. Hey. Dude, guys. Shit, I'm done. Ah. Mm -hmm. How do we break a shield? Uh, you'll kill you an arc charge storm, and then I'll drop you your cards. Take them and put them in the middle. Did I just throw it at him? No, you can move him over here. Oh, oh, over here. of Golden Age humanity. Odd that the collapse didn't humble you at all. Ooh. It is better to keep the hive concentrated in one place. Show them they are threatened, and they will cease to make obvious their plan. Uh, sure, Morris. I'll keep talking. Now we got four of them completed. So who else will have a vendor challenge? Someone else at the tower then? Um Yeah, everyone has the you just do eight bounties for everyone. Okay. That's how you get your pinnacles. So Some people only have like Banshee like has powerfuls, but everyone else should have pinnacles, even Hawthorne, which you get from commending people after a match. Do, do. Okay, there we go. Go turn these in. What about that? Let's see what we've got for each other. The Jade Rabbit. Hmm. Womp womp. Womp womp. Sad. Womp womp. Womp womp. <laughs> Hi there. Thank you. Da, 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 da. I think I have. Okay, now to Zavalala. 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 Zavalala? Guardian. Okay. Uh, 
Yay, I did it. Oh. I did it! Yay! Don't let it go to waste. 620. I'm gonna go make some chow, so I'm gonna hop out of the fire team. You're good. I'm chilling because I gotta figure out what I'm doing next. I guess more bounties, so who else is here? You can either do a crucible or you can do gambit. Oh no, I can do one more gunsmith bounty. Yeah. Ooh, that'll be easy. Okay, gunsmith. Get 10 kills, buddy. Do it now. Nice shooting out there. Did I already accept all his bounties for today? I can work with this. This one is rocket launcher kills. And camp kills. Okay, um... Hmm, it's worth putting my 1810. Uh, I think it, so the way, from what I understand the way gear works is you t just have, you find whatever your favorite piece is, all right? And then you use whatever stuff you don't need that's 1810 to upgrade them, right? So if you have pieces that are particularly strong, like an exotic or whatever, yeah, you should upgrade that to 1810 first and then your legendaries. Or you could just do whichever one's lower to bring up your overall uh, level. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we have that all done. Is there anything else to do? Or is it just it's just master? Okay. Uh, Sorry. What else did we get? We got pistol. Okay. This. That. I just have to deal with this first. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, we have a better one than that. Show them that they can't mess with us. And, um, that one might be okay. I don't know. I have to check. What about this one? Identification. Nineteen strength. Uh, we need fresh coolant. Old stuff scorched the manifold. Okay, so these can be backup gloves, I guess. Good for you. That. I can and help you. That. It's just a bomb. But to me. Oh shit. Okay. 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 Was it plus five? So it's a twenty-four, and these were twenty-three. Six resilience. Oh, six resilience. Right. Hmm. Do do do. Okay. I think that's most of the stuff I want to get rid of. Oh, uh, what about these? Check out the gear. All right, go on one second. I just need to. I think I should get rid of some stuff. I should probably try to keep that, I guess. Uh, Weren't you just here, Guardian? Like that. I can probably keep one of those. Not me. Alt of bracket. Oh, it's strain type. Good luck out there, Guardian. Let's replace this with. Oh wait, this one? Is this one primary? No, it's secondary. No, I'm about to say Dope. Okay, so... Dope. I won't forget everyone we lost. Yeah. I won't. It's a kinetic one. Wait, how is it kinetic and... have an element on it? Wait, the what now? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I see. Okay, that's cool. It's actually kind of unique. What about this? I don't need this guy either. Okay, uh, party. What is do 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 Ooh, pretty coat. Pretty coat. Oh, okay, this is the thing that lets you fly with Dawnblade. That's neat. 
and then the sun shot. Ooh. Those are, that's a neat combination. I've been thinking about um, okay, I needed to do one more thing for what's his face, and then probably plenty of armor. I can buy another random one because this one's easier. Nice shooting out there. Do you have the navigator? Yo, Lando. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Is that a weapon? I'm going to say no. Uh, if it's a weapon, I'm going to say no. Oh, oh, pulse rifle. Well, we're already going to be using a pulse rifle. Fair enough. Let's do... What was it? This one... Which one is better? Not long. I'm going to go... Let's check. Mm. Exotic from the Ghost of the Deep Dungeon. Oh, no. Yeah, I have to... I haven't... I have the keys for the dungeon. At least for the Lightfall ones, but I haven't gone there yet. Any free according for all the free stuff. Uh yeah, there's a um whatchamacallit. Uh there's actually like a Mass Effect themed thing in the store for free right now. Uh la 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 la. Seasonal. Boop, right here. Boop, boop, boop. That looks neat. I was using this ship for a little bit just because I like the Normandy, but anyway, okay. Uh looking at my stuff. I think. Okay, so it pairs nicely with the one god strain titan. Oh, okay, cool. I'll definitely keep an eye out for it, then I'll try and get that. Yeah, I like, I just wanted to play strand. Like, I started only a few days ago, and I was like, well, I want the grappling hook. Try and stop me. Strand. What's this have? 14. 16. Ooh, 19. It doesn't have the resilience. Uh, I think our strength's high enough for now. We're doing decent melee damage. Let's drop this. Drop. This is a 19. 16 and 18. These all have lower stats though. Let's just keep that. Okay, 55. We're keeping that. Okay. And any of these marks are there we go. Okay, uh, anything else? Nope, just gotta go do the gunsmith bounty now. So let's go do some onslaught. Cheers from Portugal. Oh, hello Patrick. Cheers. Banner OP. Like raid banner OP? Or like the banner, or like the, uh, the fragment banner OP. I need to... Oh yeah, what shit, what do I need to get for the thing? Or, what quest? I need to do some quests before I can get my different, um, some my other two fragments. Banner of War. Okay, how do you open the package? Uh, it should be in your inventory. So, pause, inventory, it should be like right here. Or over here, in your wrapped items. Might be a little bit of delay for this stream, but you'll, you'll see. Um, what was I thinking of? I was thinking my brain was working. Give me a sec. Uh, yeah, unlocked more stuff. You know, thought weapon final blows, create a tangle, yeah. Damaging targets with tangle. That's melee energy. Yeah. Wait, why does that reduce my strength, you? Is it just like, is it just God melee? Let's do that. Strength, strength. Make sure final flows. And then strength. Hmm. I think we'll keep that one. Actually. Hmm. Only damage generate grenade energy. I feel like I like that. Much love, gotta go. Alright, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. I uh, appreciate it. It was uh, fun chit chatting with you, and 
I play lots of stuff, so whether you stick with Destiny or play other things, feel free to stick around and check out my videos and stuff. I mostly just stream because this is where I get footage for the, the actual videos I make. But I also, I like streaming. I like interacting with people when I have people to interact with. Um, okay, I think I'll leave those, right? I, I don't know. Strand, I, I want more melee damage. It's, ooh, resilience wave. Hmm. So do I want more class energy? Let's keep this because if we use the, the the other super, the other exotic, we use our bank. Okay. Um, I need to finish this with the onslaught, and then I have a quest. So let's check our quest. Get everything set up. So I don't remember what to do. Quest. I need this. And well, those are the same thing, but whatever. Um, okay, and then what else do we need? We need to defeat a. We needed to complete the bounty, which just requires using the pulse rifle, right? Kill 20 targets with the pulse rifle. Yay! Easy enough. Okay, let's go to Onslaught then. Hey, how's catching up on Destin 2? Been going good. We're uh, mostly caught up. We're getting there. I have a few more things I have to do. Like, I still need to, like, get my armor, my gears, energy level up and stuff. But I finally have, like, an actual, uh, I finally have my build at least most of the way. Like, I have this Strand Titan that I wanted. We have our primary that we needed. And we have our two, well, not our two best, two of our best. I need the Syntheseps still. But I have Worm God and I have a Bait and Thief. So I just need the Syntheseps next. <laughs> okay, um, I think that's everything I needed right now. Let's go throw some of this stuff in the vault real quick and then go over to do Onslaught. Oh wait, I gotta go talk to Shax before I do Onslaught so I don't miss out on anything. Um, Keep that, I guess. Why not? Uh, don't need this. Is this good? Final blows. Final blows. With a fire. Ooh, wait. That's not too shabby. Final blows grant melee energy when playing a darkness subclass. I might actually hold on to that. That's actually cool. Okay. Hmm. Put that away. I think we're good. Drop these on. Don't need that. And don't need this. Cool. Need a pair of arms right, just in case. Yeah. We're good to go. Okay, to the there's a button destinations. Go to the light, go talk to what's his face. <laughs> and then we'll mess around in the crucible a little bit. I was getting my ass handed to me yesterday, but I know that's just how it starts. Like that's how it was back when I used to play it too. I'd start out, I'd come in fresh, get my ass handed to me, get catch a rhythm, and then then it's fun. I actually really like PvP in this. I know it's not the most balanced thing, but it's fun. I do wish it wasn't so meta heavy. Like, I, do, I wish it wasn't literally just everyone's using a goddamn hand cannon, but. <laughs> to be fair, if he can't beat him, join him. So I, I got a hand cannon too. <laughs> Shaxi boy, and coming. This gun is so gaudy with this. Freaking camo ah, skin. One of our brightest returns. Okay, bounties. Waves cleared. Careful with that. Favors acquired. Defiant battlegrounds. What are those? Perform tricks. I can do tricks. Hopefully, this is as sturdy as you are. Oh, well, I guess I'll grab it. 
case we need to. Old battles are just a and I just need to finish the one mission for you, right? And then you'll be happy. And I have to finish the mission, and then I can have my sword. Mission. Okay. Boop. Now we can do the thing. God, there's so much busy work and just getting prepared to go do activities sometimes. I know it won't be like this forever. forever. I know part of it is just... Should I do normal version or this version? We'd have to fin we'd have to get to fifty. I'll wait till Breeze is on to try and get to fifty. That sounds I don't I don't want to trust all the for that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm having a having a good time with the game, just trying to get ready to do like the Grandmaster Nightfalls and the raids and stuff like that. The proper challenging content, you know. Not that the Legend campaign was actually pretty hard, but like, it was hard in a way that was like annoying, where like, it wasn't that hard, and then you'd get to a boss, and that boss would take like, a bajillion damage to kill. To the point where it was just like, this wouldn't be hard, but I've been running in circles for 25 minutes, and he's only a third of the way dead. Luckily we had Brizu, who was, was geared up, who was able to do enough damage to make it, make the difference of both of those fights. <laughs> Wait, are we not queued up with other people? Why is it supposed to throw us in a... Pain oh, it did. Leads to perfection, Guardian. Embrace it. Oh, they were already here. I see. Right? Oh, I need to switch to my pulse rifle. Yeah. Uh, you need to find out how you can get the good gun. Yeah, I figured out how to get how you get the good gun. But you have to that that involves playing the game with them. Like the like the beat it. Hey, you're, in, you're in school right now. I can't get you the good gun from school. Uh we, we taught we find a guy named Zer. He travels between planets. He's available on the weekends from Friday to Tuesday. So it's not just the weekend technically. Um and he has a quest where you do like twenty activities and he'll give you a coin for the cipher you need. Are those sad faces? My text chat's too small, I can't tell. I think those are sad faces. Don't make sad faces. Cry, baby. It's not like you don't have good weapons. <laughs> it's like, you have plenty of stuff to do the content we're trying to do. Do, 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 do. Wave defense mode, save me from the zone. I need to stop using this. I keep forgetting. I need to be using the pulse right now. It's turning off. Literally here to do this. And that's not why I'm here. Now. I just gotta find him and get his quest. Yeah, he's, we'll have we can look up which planet he's on. I'm sure there's a tracker that people tell you where he's at each week. He, he only goes between you three planets. You. So yeah, we find him, get a quest for him, and the quest the quest is literally just do activities. So like twenty a, a combination of twenty strikes, PvP matches, onslaught round or onslaught mode things, or whatever. Right? Oh god, wait, that's it. Still. Ow, it just, oh, it was the laser. I forgot about the laser. I'm fine. Oh. 
that's where everything's happening. La la la. Uh, you can do it. Yeah, I mean, and I can help you can I can help you find it or whatever to see like I said I can hot This is easy because I can kind of like hop in and play for a bit and hop out like I don't have to like commit To doing a bunch of stuff all at once So I can always just help you find Zer or whatever and then you can start doing some things and then whenever we do things together we will get more stuff Thank you. The stasis is cool seeing all the crystals appear though. I specifically ran in to drop my shield and I died before I got it off. Because the shield would have knocked them all up for me. Which sounds bad. Suspended them, I guess. I probably have enough kills with this thing, but I don't want to check. It's kind of weird seeing Destiny you. again. I don't feel like playing the expansion. I only got I only got Destiny because everything was on sale. Like the, I, I got everything. I got literally everything you can get in the PSN store for Destiny for like fifty, except for Final Shape, which we'll wait to get until it's a little closer. Because that's like still a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. I would not pay for this game if it had been like full. Price. Stupidly overpriced. Like it's one thing to keep up with it once you've started. It's another thing to buy it all up front. It's like ridiculously overpriced if you try to buy it. Folks tend to keep track on Destiny watching YouTube. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm having a really good time with it. There, there's a lot of stuff in it that I'm like, what the fuck? But uh, overall, my, my time with it's been a lot of fun. I'm going to, I mean, I'm, my goal is to play pretty much all this, any substantial pieces of content that are available um, in the game right now in a lead up to Final Shape. And then, uh, and then I will also do a video on Final Shape. Speaking of videos, I need to get my Final Fantasy video with them. I forgot about it. Like, honestly, I lost track of that because I was playing this for the last few days. Luckily, I did work on this script the other day, so that's pretty much done. I need to just, like, clean up the second section a little bit. And I'll have Final Fantasy VII video out. For Rebirth. I think I've killed the 
confused with this thing right now, but better safe than sorry, I guess. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Ow! What just. Did, is that a thrall? Did I punch a thrall? Oh, I punched an explosive thrall. I thought that was a normal thrall. Oops. Oops. Just tighten things. <laughs> Oops. La 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 la. No regrets on that one. Well fought. Where's the, where's the special one? Oh, we've got a stun gun. Oh, it's back here. Oh, fuck. Oh, someone's went Super Saiyan. Oh, they both went Super Saiyan. Okay. Purple. Purple blurple. Rah. A gauge of pure combat potential. Make me proud. Do, 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 do. Yeah, another recluse. Wow. Wow, thanks, game. Wow. <laughs> it's All I see is recluse. Just give him a sword. Okay, well, anyway, uh let's commend people because that's the nice thing to do. Here, uh wait. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, your, your stuff's more fly. That, the other person's a little bit too... Sparkly. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. But sparkly's what I'm looking for. Okay. Oh, results. Open director. I need to go to... Uh... Wait. The tower first. Destination. Next tower. There we go. Just tighten things as much as you die so much for... It, I mean, it does. It's I, I, I gotta punch things. Leave me alone. I gotta punch stuff. That's how I hurt it. I mean, I don't have to. There are other things I can do, but like... I wanna punch the things. Shovel go bonk. Just gonna get a big sharp shovel. Mm-hmm. Talk to Mr. Gunsmith. What do you think? I thank you, sir. There we go, finally. I guess I didn't have to go in here, I was on the main page. Ah, yes. Thank God. Okay. Rank up. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Idol something. Idol campaign. What do you mean? Oh, we already did it. That's why it said completed. I was like, I thought it was telling me to do that. 
journey. Machine. Oh yeah, I have to do that one. Okay. Seasonal journey. No, we're not gonna use the fire team finder yet. That's fine. Uh, equipped. Ooh, do I have a title to equip? Uh oh. Well, we have to do something for it. <laughs> Complete. Oh my god, 31. <Wow>. Jesus. <laughs> By the way, so far I managed to unlock Joe Fonsi as this card after Max Low and Boomerang. I thought the Brainiac fight was unlocked at 25, not 35. Oh yeah. Now the Brainiac fight, getting there was a little bit annoying, but if you did killing time, it helped a lot. Using traversal joker is starting to get used to when switching from no. flying to yeah yeah I um I use a um I use the one of the back paddles here I'm at my jump to it so that I can hold left I can hold right bumper and then I can push the back paddle and then he's grinding and then I can use the stick to steer still otherwise I have to you put your thumb on X and it's kind of hard to steer him. It's not impossible, it's just a little bit annoying. Okay, season challenges. What do I think? Do I get something for these? Oh. I do. Not all of them? Nope. Anything else you'd like to give me a game? <laughs> uh, la, la. Okay, season 23. Oh, wow. Okay. Stop telling me to go to the fire team finder. Wow, I found it. Thank you. Look, I found it. Good job. Do I actually... My god, you don't actually... Anybody who's gonna be toxic is still gonna confirm all your fucking magic pillars, Bungie. I love you. I appreciate the effort. This is not gonna make people be nice. Good try. Oh, thank you. I'm good. Silly goobers, I appreciate the effort, Underway. but that is not <laughs> curb toxicity. Good luck. Guys. <laughs> A transaction to make, Guardian? Okay, more stuff to drop off. Now I gotta go to the story with the bright and bring um Finger heart emote. <laughs> so dumb, whatever. I never understood the appeal of that kind of stuff, but I'm just like, three. Okay. Three versus. Is this the same weapon twice? Wow, thanks, game. Um, go away, correct, please. You're bad luck. I already have one of those. 17. 6. No. 2 energy. Not so much to keep up against it. So this is reduce all cooldowns. 
using a class ability under targets. Oh yeah, we already do why. This is what it is, okay. Rank seven. Still rank up again to get more of them. Seriously. Only bully in the game. Um, okay, now we go back to what's his face. Uh, destinations. To the light. There we go. But yeah, uh, anyway, yeah, as far as Suicide Squad goes, yeah, Joker's so much fun. Like, I love him. Honestly, that's the one thing about this game is like that Suicide Squad gives me so much movement that I go to play anything else and I'm just like, oh man, I'm so slow. Like, at least I have a grappling. If I didn't have a grappling hook, bro, heart broken. <laughs> like, this, like I'm not, I am not switching off the grapple except for in PvP, where I know that it kind of just gets you killed. <laughs> But I refuse. Someone's like, oh, you need to use this. Nope. I don't care. I'm 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 good. I will do it just fine with my grapple. Test me. Brave it to you. You may only tune one tap at a time. Yay, I get to go do it. I'm not attuning the LC's rifle, because I don't want it. Where the fuck did Breezy go? He's supposed to make food and I was like, what about you? Don't waste He's still in Discord. No, it's still on Discord. Okay. Right. Wow. Oh, another hung jury. That's crazy. Bro, I never would have guessed. All battles are just a lesson, Guardian. Ah, it's the other hero of the tower attack. <laughs> Talk to me, Guardian. Rumor has Wait, it all hell has broken loose. Say... Well, interact with the corresponding hollow. Okay. Did you show the darkness what light can do? What do you mean? Is Good it news from the war front? Am I missing something? Oh, it's over there. I am missing something. I'm done. Heck, speaking of grappling hook on Dying Light, one was the best one slant. Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that that was really OP though, because like the enemies basically just couldn't catch you. Careful with that. Now can I go attune a weapon I give a shit about, thanks? No, why is it like this? This was made for you. Wow. OP. Yay, I have a pulse rifle. Can I go get the thing I care about now? Okay, I turn to the sword. Crucible to officiate Guardian. Don't make me wait. Over here. Uh, character. No, quests. Is this one? Oh, no, that's the... that one. Um, uh, that one. Okay. Crap. Now can I go attune to it? How do I unlock it? For, uh, no, wait. What's the point of attuning to it if you get it from the quest? Wait. Oh, because the attune, because you then it starts dropping. I see. Okay, so you can get like a better roll, but this one already gets a good roll. Oh, defeat combatants using sword. I don't believe defeat combatants using swords anywhere in the system. Bonus progress and onslaught or defeat combatants. Okay. Cool. Can I go put a sword on? I just put a orb it, I guess. Okay, settle down now. Mm -hmm. Open, power it. <laughs> I what are these milestones? I forgot what these are. Are these in no? No. Here? 
Oh my god. Nice. You ready to do some onslaught? I need to get rank 50. I need to get 50 rounds. Not die at 45 this time? Yeah. Just don't let someone else take the orb. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did I find it? No. What are the point of these fucking feats and... Or triumphs? So what is this? Why am I... Why, are these just achievements? Do they matter? Like, um... What do you mean? Just like I, in general? Like I'm collecting them, like am I getting anything for accepting these things? Uh, some of them will give you rewards, but... Most of them it's just like special good boy points? It's just like, oh look, you gotta triumph. <sighs> it's, like a, it's like a sense of progression. If they say so. <laughs> because if you go to your, uh, titles, the triumphs are how you get the titles, so... Okay. Like, there's a lot of triumphs that aren't utilized, but, uh, most of them are used for titles. Wait, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure reputation with the season 23 vendor found in the helm. It's Riven. I haven't done that yet. Yeah, it's seasonal stuff. I should probably go talk to her. I've never even spoken to Riven. Uh, open reward choice and just see she doesn't know I want that. What's this? Did this? What's an? Oh, I have a thing for a battleground. What's a battleground? Uh, it's basically like a strike. How do I? Where do you find them? Uh, they're in the Vanguard playlist. Oh, okay. On slot. Wait, what time is it? It's four o'clock. Okay, so I need to attune. How long does it take to uh do the quest for the? weapons because like i have the one for the guillotine now i just have to get sword kills how many sword kills is it i couldn't tell you off the top of my head they don't take that long especially Would, if you're playing onslaught but do we need to do like 10 rounds or should we do a bunch a fit honestly you could get it done by the end of a 50. okay um well, i'd hope so jesus uh okay which one of the what's better ask for them like Tempered Edge, Restart, Classic Emerald. Energy Transfer, Guarding while receiving Damage, Generates Class Ability Energy, okay. Rapid Sword Strike, Boost Weapons Damage, okay. Leading Targets, are dealing Damage, which increases Range, Stability, and Handling. Wait, what? Using of your other weapons? Steam Fire increases Accuracy and Range. I'm just using some Swords, okay. Quick attacks immediately after swapping, do additional damage, burning more super. Okay. And what other ones do we have? We got the bone cleaver. Small gift of bright dust. Final blow that we weapon. While you're super small, bring to bonus of strength and discipline. Oh, okay. I'll use that. Uh, what can I take to upgrade it? Win another heavy. 18, 10, heavy weapon. I want to get oh time. damn, you already got your strength maxed out. Maxed out? Wait, what? It maxes out at 100. Does it really? Wait, does that mean I need to stop putting points into it then? Yeah. Oh no, it says it's 111. 
Oh. Well, yeah, but look. That's over I cap. Really... I, I need to stop putting. Okay, okay, nothing counts after 100. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So if you want, you can take it off your uh, mark and put like a different stat on that. Yeah, I'm annoyed that. Okay, I have max strength and the cooldown is still 57. I un I have other things that also reduce the cooldown, but like I'm. I'm annoyed, that's what I'm saying. Not... You... It's supposed to, like, you're supposed to max it out and then add other perks to make it even faster after that. Yeah. Uh, Dirty Dane. Like, my, my melee cooldown right now is two minutes, so you're already doing better than me and I'm at 40. Yeah, but at the cost of that, my grapple cooldown is... Forever. A minute and 25 seconds. Uh, Bungie, just let me use the stuff you give me. You give me cool abilities, and you're like, hey, you want to use this? Fuck you. Kiss my ass. Okay, so we got the LC's rifle, I guess, if that matters. You got the uh, LC's rifle, or you just got the uh, quest? The, the, I finished the quest, I got it. You just, you get it right. instantly. Yeah, so you go to the Hall is of Champions. Is this a good one? I know, I already got the weapon for the guillotine. I was just looking at this. Oh, uh, okay, uh, okay. Full auto retrofit. Is what good? This LC's rifle. Uh, what perks are on it? Uh, we've got full bore, ricochet, rewind, adrenaline junkie, dominability. It's not horrible. Hmm. That second uh perk column, you want desperado there. Not so. That's a good perk. And then first column. I have rewind okay. rounds on mine, but this one's an I can empty refills from the stars based on hits. Okay. Do 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 add another hung jury, you would be <laughs> Hung Jury. God, why are there so many of those? I love Hung Jury. Okay. It's awesome. I think I'm ready to just hop in. I just need to grab a sword from the uh, which is what I was doing. You can grab you can access your vault and load it. I am. Yeah, I'm grabbing it. Uh okay. Because I know there's some people that still don't know that. Still don't. It's right there on the screen. I, I mean, I forget to do it, but I'm also not in orbit a lot of the time. I, te I teleport from place to place. Mm -hmm. uh, that's probably why other people forget, honestly. Wait, is Masterwork... Is adding, like, upgrading a weapon, that's per weapon, right? It's uh, individual. Masterworking weapons, yeah. Yeah, it's to that individual. Okay. I know that's a t might seem like a dumb question, but I'm just making sure it's not like per category or something. No. Damage against off enemies, damage exchange against rank and file enemies. Yeah. I want to be able to kill shit with it. Kill everything. Okay. Increase sword damage ammo, increase sword ammo. That's fine. And I'll be able to hit stuff with it. Uh, this should let's put that on here. Okay. Uh, da, 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 director, take me to onslaught. To onslaught, are you? Wait. Oh, do we? Does it matter which one we do? Uh, no. Just pick a map. Defend. Which one is? Let's do. Uh. The Moth Yards. No, wait. Which one has... The two boss stuff? Let's try that one. I've done the other one, Moth Yards, and the other one a lot. Not a lot, a couple of times. <laughs> I haven't done anything a lot. You've done patrols a lot. I didn't, not really, honestly. I didn't have had to do that much grinding. I'm just annoyed when I have to grind because it takes, like... It's just because, like, the some of the stuff is weird. Like, the fact that you have to grind, like, public events, and then it's like, well, public events are on a timer. And it's like, well, fuck you. Like, you can't tell me to grind something and then tell me I have to wait to grind it. Like, mm -hmm. that's the stuff that's annoying because it's like, kill some time, do some stuff, kill some time, do some It's like, just let me do all this stuff and have the stuff so I can move on. I'm trying to get geared and trying to play it out, do the, the tough stuff. I just want to do some more crucible. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, Guardians! Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
some dirt on my head. <laughs> oh, that didn't work for that. Oh yeah, I forgot. I should not die. I, I keep forgetting I'm not playing my Arc Titan, so when I kill stuff, I don't get the shield regen. <laughs> and I, like, I really got... Kind of I don't think I have any kind of heal, from what I can tell. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think Void does, but I know, I know Arc and Solar does. Solar, especially. I wish I could just have the heal on melee kill. Like, that's a nice one. It feels like that should be like just uh That should just be a standard option for Titan. Line, a yeah. Line, yeah. One you can get on all of them. Oh no 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 no. That's what I'm missing, my music. You notice when the game's oddly quiet in between these rounds like this. Yep. <laughs> God, Spotify and PC, stop updating. God, I so I probably don't need to do like normal strikes anymore, right? I can probably do like nightfalls and stuff. Oh yeah, you can definitely do nightfalls. I only do strikes when it's like I do your it. nine weekly activities and it's like, oh I wanna get some bounties done. It's a lot okay. easier to do bounties and strikes than nightfalls. Oh, because just so enemies take something like this. Yeah. Um Oh and then, well, how much more do you think I need before I can do like Grandmaster Nightfalls and stuff? I have my armor uh, mod. Do I need all my gear, like max energy, before I do that? Uh, yeah, you need everything as close to 1810 as possible. Well, everything I have is. Eight, I can. I, I have full 1810, I mean max energy. I'm talking about like, yeah, you wanna have like as close to 1810 as possible, and then also you wanna have. I'd say double 100s is like a minimum. Is that 100 in, like, resilience and 100 in strength? 100 in your strength and then whatever you have. Primary stat. Through. I'd say, I'd say resilience, because that's just... That's main spec. And it's my primary stat. 40% less damage. Yeah. I mean, and, and again, it's like, that's also my primary stat, so I think it improves my class ability. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. For Warlocks, it's like a cover. Yep. And Hunters get mobility. The amount of times I've had to go in the first world fight against like a, a 100, uh, 100 mobility, 100 uh, resilience. I really thought, oh my god, I stood there because I thought he was going to be melee killable and then he healed somehow. Because when they have the barrier up like that, that's how they heal. Oh, okay, yeah, I stood there waiting for him to get low. That's why, I, that's why it's important to break the barrier. I thought someone's gunshots were going to get up low enough for the finisher and then he just healed. I'm like, what the? F I'm just standing there in front of him. Nobody here has. Oh. Oh yeah, I can get that really easy. That weapon is really easy to get. I saw. What, uh, uh, the Arbalist, yeah. Well, not just that. It's like a mod. It's like a mod. But this season, the anti barrier fucking sucks. It's only through through your normal seasonal method um, of the artifact. Right now, the only weapon you can get anti barrier on is rifles, right? Sidearms. Oh, what? Ew. Yeah. Ow. So, God damn it, rightfully so, I do I not have that. I, I don't even have that option unlocked. Jeez. Oh. I keep forgetting I need this to change to the bay elite for this, because I can't melee these guys when there's so many exploders. Oh. I'm gonna like, damage. Dangerous. I'm so glad I got this one God's Crest, because, like, that was just, like, a random... I, I don't know if they, like, if I just got really lucky, or if it's, like, a guaranteed I thing. Lucky, yeah, I don't know. Because I, I th this was my first exotic gear piece that I got, I think. Second? I don't know. Worm Gods are really good. Yeah. The only, the only, the only Strand Titan legendary, um, or exotic I'm missing is the, uh the Syntheseps, which I get from doing, I think, Solar. Random drops. No, it's a, I can, I, I can get, I have a quest for them. A class quest. Oh. Um, maybe yeah, they're also, quest for that stuff. yeah, so I can either do a Void, or, I think it's either, arc, it's Arc or Solar I can do for Syntheseps, I can't remember. Uh, 
Oh. When, once you get enough streamers, you gotta, you gotta get you on that, uh, that banner award. Thing, you know? that, uh, I need a, I, I have to do a quest. For, uh, to unlock it. I can already, I could get it. I've had enough uh, meditations. I just haven't. I yeah, there's literally a quest that needs to be completed before you can do... Before you can unlock it. Let me check real quick while I'm here. Uh, wait, it's literally... It's... Oh, I know it won't show me. It just is not yet unlocked. I have to go back to the thing. Yeah, there's there's a quest for each oh, of them. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, I think it's seasonal or something. I don't think it's seasonal. I think it's just like Oh, yeah, that would make sense. That's usually where, like... Campaigns are relatively short, but the campaign doesn't matter. Yeah. All the post campaign quests. Yeah, exactly. And there's normally a lot. That, that's the same thing in, in WoW. It's like normally, that's why your raid boss, the, the raid boss that you fight in a raid is the end of that story arc. Um, but like, the campaign for the main playthrough ends before you do the raid. Like, that doesn't include the actual raid and the raid because not everybody does. I, I honestly like the Fire of Destiny does uh, I like the now way it's set. You defeat the, the campaign, the boss, and then the raid bosses use somebody else. Yeah, I, I do think that's. I think that's neat because I think the. I think WoW's version is just because they're trying. They, it's a way to try and incentivize people because raiding's been the pillar of the game for yeah. so long. But yeah, I do like the idea that like it's kind of unrelated. So if you don't feel like being a raider, you still get the story. I'd prefer. It's, it's, it's probably pre related, but like. It's not the, like the the boss. It's not the. Like... It's not Callus, right? That's what I'm saying. Like. Yeah. Yeah, like, and but to be fair, I don't know. I I would prefer if that was per, that was a raid boss, but that's just that's me because I Callus like. Callus was a raid boss, but then it was revealed to be robot fake Callus at the end of the fight. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like I, I like I like my raid bosses to be the final thing, but the flip side of that is, I get it. Like, I know I'm always gonna complete raids because I play games like this for that high level PVE content. So like. I think it's also, I, I, also just like an easier sell that like you get that campaign experience and then the raid is like mm -hmm. different. But they're still like one of the same. I feel like, awesome. yeah, if I could have one thing, I feel like I would change the the shooting ability balance from like 70-30 to like 65-35. Or like, yeah, 60-40. So, yeah, 60-40. I, I was thinking numbers wrong. I'm dumb. Yeah, I'd, I'd throw it off another 10% in the direction of the other stuff. Not because, just, just because there are times when you're like, God, I'm just holding down the trigger. Jesus. Like. <laughs> Luckily, my rifle is actually um, bothering me. I have the strange catalyst on it. Oh god! Yeah. I mean, I only did it because it's the best in slot for the strand stuff. I usually don't get. I, I'm usually not bothered with catalysts all too much unless it's like one of those things that's like essential, which I don't use quicksilver still enough to take the essential. Yeah. Or it's like, I'm like, I, I'm like committed. I'm like, I am not turning off Strand. You can't make me. I mean, I'll switch for like bounties or whatever just to make the progress, but it's just my main. I will be Berserker Titan until I die. Which is a lot. I die a lot, so it's perfect. Oh, oh my god. If you're on Warlock, it'd be a completely different fucking story. Oh, I wouldn't be dying at all on Warlock. No, not, not just that, but like, on ah. Warlock, you don't get. There's an illusion of free choice. You, they act like there's a free choice, but no, you're gonna be well of radius. That's your job. I've heard that in high level content they do the same thing to Titans with Bubble, though. Uh, they do, but it's, it's I'd say it's more optional. Yeah, like, I mean, well it, is like a non negotiable. Like, no, people will not raid with you if you do not play well. Oh, what the fuck did this hit me? Oh, they were behind me. I'm done. Oh, he has a cool little, like, the like, Kabuki mask. Drain this guy. 
I was like, wait, why? He's almost oh, dead. Because cool. the guy Nova bombed him, so. Oh, it just makes him vulnerable. No, that just like, does a lot of fucking damage. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Not this fucker. Um, I hate how slow the transition to this grenade launcher is, though. It takes a fucking minute. Cause then you gotta like, not reload the gun. Like, you hold down square, yeah. I'm saying like, yeah, you basically reload the gun. Well, but like the anime, there's like a delay after it like reads the animation. Yeah. Like, it's really slow before it actually does it. Like I held it down and I take my finger off the trigger and it, then it finally hits after a minute. Down before they do the same to you. Wait, oh, I think I was supposed to arrive. I was also supposed to be using my sword more, but it's fine. Is that the crown splitter, whatever it's called? It's, yeah, the throne cleaver, yeah, crown splitter, though. <laughs> you're like, you're like half right. <laughs> What's it called? Throne cleaver? It's throne cleaver, yeah, crown splitter. There's a different one called, clown, called crown splitter. Oh, okay. That's exactly like that. I am not going to Not my best play, but you know what? Get back here. Bitch, stop running. Go over here. Uh. Sword hits. I thought to myself, Recluse. is that a miniature to sun? But no, it was you. Yeah, it on it your opponents. I LC, love it. Now I got the LC triple, yeah, because it's oh yeah, because it's focused now that I'm not I need to unfocus it. Shit. Oops. Also, I need to put on my abandon. Uh, Places I spend my upgrades at. Why are they not? Oh, the thing moved. I'm dumb. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't upgrade until next round, damn it. Oh my god, get away from me. Bitch.
Wait, why did my barrier not go off? Oh, because I got knocked back. I didn't even see it. Yeah. Ow, what the fuck? I just walked off the ledge. There's a, I'm, I did not realize there's a ledge there. I have no... Uh. <laughs> Desperation. I think I did it. God damn it, they just beam me. How do we get them without the. We need supers. We don't have the shield, right? Oh, here we go. Get out of my face, bitch. They have like the white circle like that around them. You can't break that without like an external like buff or something. Oh, I saw I saw the super sometimes let me break through it, but maybe I'm tripping. My guess is that uh, because when you step in the evil circle, it gives you, get... you five seconds of debuff. Oh, so I probably if I pass through it, I have five seconds to hit yeah. swing at them. Okay, that's it. That's good to know then. Do, 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 do. Um, Where do I get heavy? Why am I not heavy ammo dropping? Uh, it spawns every couple of rounds. Out of there. Execute all targets. Maps even got the and make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. Whoa. I would have spawned like I, I spot you to the So far away. Yes, I'm so the hung the stupid hung jury quest. Are they ever gonna While give using me? a different version of hung jury that isn't from this event. <laughs> Are they gonna this give is my adept hung jury I got like two years ago. Are they gonna give me uh, a heavy ammo? Hit me. No, no. Yeah, they're gonna come around your helmet. I 
I guess I should now. Yeah, now you have mods, so. Good, not good at my job. I'm like a certain other guy. <laughs> that dude we had yesterday, Jesus. Yeah. That was tragic. Around 45, too. That's the worst. Yeah. Time. Five rounds away from being done with the weekly challenge. Is the weekly challenge to do 50? And it's one of my, I don't know, it's one of the important things he wants me to do is get to fat, uh, get 50. Uh. Oh wow, it gave me- I have 17 heavy ammo, thank you, game. How generous are you? No, I don't think so. I mean, I wouldn't- you know, just kindly gave me 17. Destiny stuff on Twitter. You know one thing that the I'm trying to, but the, the uh, Destiny 2 community won't let me join. It says pending. Oh, like, I'm not talking about like, the community page. I'm just talking about like, the community as a whole. Uh, uh, if you'll see a video of somebody using an option to load out, uh, whatever you do, do not look at the comments. Or you get flamed. But he would get flamed if you an option to load out. The There's a guy on playing onslaught, right? Normal onslaught, round two. He was just messing around with an off-meta build, and people were like, fucking, like, getting on his ass. It's like, dude. My rule has always been that if you're a meta slave, it's because you're not good enough. Yeah. I don't need, I don't need, I don't need a best in slot build to be better than you. Get out of here. <laughs> like, but that's always my, like, I generally tend to stick to things that are at least usably meta, right? But like. If someone were to harass me for something like that, yeah, I'm like, eh, excuse you, I, I picked what I picked because it's fun, I, I don't need your permission, bitch. Like, I can, as long as I do my job and we win, I'll, I'll like, yeah, I, I've never understood that mentality too. Especially if someone's doing well on an off-meta build or whatever, because it's like, bro, they don't, need, they, they don't need the crutch that you need of being on the meta. Like, that's called being the better player, get over it. <laughs> if that happened to me, I was raiding myself. The meta was like a certain weapon. I didn't have it, so I just decided I was gonna go with my, like, tried, my, and true. my tried and true DPS. Yeah. I used for everything else. And he was like, dude, why aren't you using this gun? I'm like, I don't think got it. He's like, he's like, dude, do you have a different linear? I'm like, no, I'm just gonna use this. And then guess it guess who did second most DPS? Yeah, like I, I cleared I, I had I did top damage yeah. multiple times in my like nightmare uh fucking taking or er, king's fall runs back in the day and like i was never i didn't know what the meta was i literally just wore whatever i got from king's fall like and i'm sure that it worked like it was strong but like you don't need to the, the, the meta the meta compensates for people who can't do otherwise with, you know just playing well unless something's really meta's, busted meta's for good shit though. that's why it's the meta but like if you're not playing yeah if you're not doing the hardest content in the game then what are you talking about? And even then, it's like a lot of people would argue that the challenge is getting to do shit the way you want to do it. Oftentimes, it's in Destiny, the meta just decided about like what seasonal like buff weapons got. So like, say the linear fusion weapons got like, a seasonal a buff this season for like ten percent, and the, the, the meta is going to be then like, sleeper sure then sleeper simulants better again. Then sleeper comes back. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. I should have grabbed the one. But then there's like. I would really like some, some heavy ammo. real anal about like, if you don't have a specific, if you don't have a cataclysmic with bait and switch and uh, fourth times the charm you're throwing, 
Yeah, and see, I think I think those kind I think that kind of mentality, unfortunately, comes from as a holdover from like older types of raid content, right? Like, because like in something like WoW, it's to the point where like yeah, every three, every five percent of damage you can get for an individual player makes a difference. Like that can be the difference between winning and losing on the hardest difficulty, right? So it's like yeah, but it's also everybody there signs up for that, and that is the hardest difficulty, and it is known that you're. It doesn't matter what you want to play, you go in knowing that you're going to play what works, right? <laughs> like, occasionally you might have- you, if you're really, really good... Jesus. Ah! Yeah, I mean, if you're solo playing and trying to do, like, really hard content and you're not making yourself look like a desirable player, I mean, that's on you, right? Have some common sense. Like, you're playing solo, you're trying to get into groups, make yourself look desirable by looking like, you know, what you're playing, right? But... And also, it's like... I don't care unless they're weak. I don't care unless we're weak. Yeah, unless they're, like, dying or causing us to wipe or, like... And honestly, like, that kind of person's probably not going to do better just because you tell them to change it. Yeah. I thought to myself, is that a miniature son? But no. Wow, Hung Jerry, wow. Raining light on Elsie's your rifle, yay, yay, I love it. yay! Finally got some heavy ammo, thank God. How far am I in this place? Probably not very far at all. Yeah, we've already been here for 30 fucking minutes. <laughs> and I'm only 32% of the way there. Like, Bill's a destiny, dude, because it's like... Agreed. I'm saying, I'm saying like, because there's really only like a few types. You can do like a DPS build, or you can do like an ad. Build. No, they're both DPS. I'm That's the like problem. One for so bot, you, one bot have, damage, and one like. Yeah, you have single like target and AOE builds. Yeah. yeah. Multi-target and single target. No, I know, that's what's annoying, is I really wish that they leaned more into making Titans tanks, making uh, Warlocks healers. The reason that they don't do that is because then everybody would just play Hunter. Because no, no one likes to play anything other than damage, because gamers are bad at video games. Well, I mean, that's also the case, like, as it is. Like, Hunter's the, Hunter's the most popular class. Yeah, because it, just, cause it's, just because visually it looks like the most aggressive. <clears throat> also, he also looks like the cool, like, when you're on the main, like, the warlock's floating down the world, tight by sitting there, and he's just like, spinning a knife, and I'm supposed to go there. And also, people don't like playing warlock, they just be associated with warlock, like the little big shooter and stuff. Yeah. Now, I, was gonna pl I was gonna play warlock, but honestly, I was just thinking, yeah, I was like, I don't know. I, I haven't, I normally play healer in like the proper MMO, but I was like, this game is just pick your flavor of DPS. I was like, I'd rather be the punch you in the face DPS than the magic wizard. But that, I mean, to be fair, when I played Hunter, I also liked doing like melee hunter builds. Ah, oh, what the? I, I have a melee build on my Hunter. Oh. Actually, I, Yeah. It's not, it's not meta. Yeah, because you're not playing the best thing, Strand, bitch. No, the Strand is the best. Meta Hunter is, uh... Right. But still, you should just play Strand because it's the best anyway. Uh, it's always the best. I don't know, Warlock, I kind of fucking do oh. Yeah, that's, a, that's another reason why I didn't play Warlock, is I saw that the Strand build looks kind of like best. Mm. It's all about their stupid, like, critters. I was like, I don't want critters. It also just like blows in the sense that uh, the, the super sucks. Yeah, don't you just shoot out a little bun little horde of little green missiles. 
got a bunch of needles, and they don't do like nearly as much damage as the Titan Super or the. Uh, but at least those ones are roaming super. The only time a uh, uh, strand super is good on the warlock is in PvP when you are like. Because there's like. It actually happened to me. I was playing strand for whatever reason. I think I was four. So I was playing strand. And uh, three guys were on the point in a well of radiance. <laughs> and so, like, you can't kill them with guns. But. One, one well timed strand super can kill them all. <laughs> and I did that. <laughs> do, 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 do. Give me grapple or give me death. I'm so glad they have a grapple melee. Like, that's perfect. And I'm glad it doesn't take up my charged melee because that sounded like something they would do. Oh, I just realized. Uh. And like a lot of jumping puzzles that is skippable with a uh, well skip or well skate. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, whoever's using strength can just like grapple onto the person. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. So you get the double, you get both skips. No, not even that. You know, like the guy in strength will just get the free skip. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like they both a, get it. Yeah, I'm saying on a like, king's fall during ships. Oh, like, yeah. Like grapple onto the person. round are we on? 25, that's it. We're going slow on this one. I'm gonna speed up these rounds. What if they just added the gold to the magic game? Stupid ideas like that all the time. Like we're watching the the second Evangelion reboot. My friend hadn't seen it. Mm -hmm. like we watched the first one a couple months ago, but we haven't seen the rest of them. So we're watching it, and I just said like, what if they replaced? Because like a lot of the models are 3D models. So I said, what if they just replaced it? Like, Ow! With, like, oh, he didn't get Kiri buried. Kazuma but... from uh, Yakuza, <laughs> like, PS2 render specifically, and like nobody explained it. That'd be Evangelion for sure. This is a gauge of pure combat potential. Make me proud. Well, see, well Yakuza seems like something. I want to play Yakuza, but I'd have to, but I'd have to play them all from start to finish, and I just don't have the. I want to, but that's like a, one of my. Ah, someday if I get enough people to just watch me play I'm whatever I want on stream. Or energy. Yeah. Both, really. All three. Give, give me heavy ammo. No. Game. Fuck. Am I like not looking in the right spot? There's a chest spawn somewhere. Uh, every couple rounds it should spawn. It hasn't been fucking spawning. That's odd. Okay, yeah, it's not just. I, I'm like, I thought I was not getting any, but maybe it's just me. Uh, what's this guy using? Let me see. He's also on PlayStation. Double primary. <laughs> I was using double primary because I was loving my scout rifle and my assault rifle. He's got, the same, he's got like the same type of loadout as well. Ow. Ow. Like different scout though. 
My friend that only plays PvP, he was a double primary demon for a long time. We're in the year we are in the year of our Lord 2024 and you are using double primary. Boing. Dude, just pick up a shotgun or a sniper. You don't need an SMG and an assault rifle. Well like that's actually silly. Well, I don't know. Actually I could see that in PvP. Nah, it's, it's actually useless, because he would run the exotic he runs, Peacekeeper is for Titan. Because he was a hunter man, he's like holding out Titan better. And then he, he didn't believe me until he played it. And by that I mean his favorite PvP YouTuber told him that a Titan's meta. Small. So Our Titan. Him that, blah, blah, blah. Ah! I told him that and then he uh, got Peacekeepers, which if you're when your uh, SMG is automatically stowed away in real loads. So you don't have to reload it. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, just throw a shotgun with that so you can be close and then while your SMG's uh, like a sniper. He's like, oh, you're right. <laughs> I said, I know it's not right. That's why I spoke. I wouldn't have spoken if I wasn't right. <laughs> I know I'm right. He technically has more time played than me, but he's not better. But he also like leaves the computer. Okay, I, I just hit 1810, so I might have more time for him actually. Unless he's at some point hit 2,000 hours. That's insane to me, having like that much hours and not even like doing rape content right ah. now. Although it's also easier to believe someone puts that much time in than all these PvP. Just because PvP is so low. Like, it's just one of those, it's repetitive, people just keep doing it, you know? Like, it's fun, but like. 2,000 hours? I've never put 2,000 hours into a game. Well, if you include my console hours, I'm guessing it's going to be a Oh, yes, yeah, I... just a PvP game. I only have 1,200 in Siege across all platforms for the last couple of years, eight years. I think I've mentioned it, I used to be big in Siege. Uh, yeah. I like Siege, I just like, it kept, I like, it, I like it didn't work it, for like... me. No, it literally didn't work for me, I had a buddy and I, we played it, and like, because we were on the same Wi-Fi, the game just would, it just always thought, it just always kicked one of us. You, I couldn't play for more than like 20 minutes. They probably thought you were like doing some like network bullshit. Yeah, they did, and I could not seem to get it fixed. I did so much work trying to like, get it to just let me play the game, and they would not. So, and the, he was the person I played it with, so I was like, okay, so we just can't play together. It was weird. <laughs> So you just fall in every now and again, but like... I can't play anything like that. I can't play games like that solo. Not even that, it's just like... Because I'm playing ranked, because... I mean, I'm doing... It, it gives me something to go for. Yeah. Even though I hate, like, the competitive... ...scene in games, because I think a lot of the time it's just like... Like, it's okay. I was I was in the league esports when I was really bad at it. Now, like, this most recent like uh, binge, uh, binge. I'm trying to think of it. I guess binge. Uh, that I was on, that was the highest I'd ever hit in ranked. Oh, god. It was, uh, it was Emerald, so it was two away from the highest rank. In Siege? Yeah. That was in my most recent one. Yeah, see, I was uh, ass at it. I believe I never got good at it. I mean, I got better at one point, but then, like, okay, so I got really good at League of Legends one time in all my years of playing, and then, but the character I loved to play was, like, he wasn't OP, but like the thing he could do was really like it was such a good asset to have on the team that he was just perma ban. So like I basically I lot like my favorite my favorite character was basically never playable, and I was like I was a one trick like I would didn't really want to play anybody else after I found him. Like uh, Siege so has that no issue where like a lot of guys get like auto banned. It's no mm -hmm. wonder God's before you. But like wow, it's transit. Wow. 
One of them was uh one of them was the character I, I played. They got banned quite often. What, who would you play? I, I, I played I've played decent last year. Who you play? Um, I, I was a Habana man for the longest time. <laughs> I love. People, why would wait? Why would people ban Habana? Because she's good at like opening hatches, making. Yeah, but her holes. her breach is good. But I, I've never seen when I was playing banning breaches was not common. It's it's all too common though. Uh, but which it's funny because uh, Ace the new hard breacher mm -hmm. does her job infinitely better but he doesn't get banned no <laughs> people ban fucking habana which i have the elite skin for so it's like fuck you i also have the elite skin just gets wiped through i just play i only buy the elite skin and, like, even then, I don't even like and i mean i played i played it a decent okay. amount it's just like because i had stints where it would work and then it just would go back to doing its thing so i've played it i probably have like a, well over 100 hours of it Last time I played, the last person I played the most was, um, I can't remember his name, the old man with the silly shotgun. Old man with the silly shotgun? Si the, the, supp the suppressed so shotgun. Is it, uh, is it Kaid or. What's his Kaid, name? yep. Yeah, Kaid. I like, yeah, I fuck with Kaid. Yeah, I, like, I liked Kaid. I also liked, um, Dokubi with her boss. I. I liked what well, I. I was the I, biggest Dokubi main when she came out, dude. I was like. <laughs> I, I like was insane with her. My, 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 the way I chose characters in Siege is by their weapons. I like shit that makes people mad. I like, I love how, I love, uh, what's his face's shotgun. I, I, I love playing Dokubi, but she's also another, like, pretty high likely chance to get banned. Yeah, cause she, well, she's pretty, I, that one's more understandable. She was always pretty common to get banned because her thing's so obnoxious. And Dokubi's one of those things that's like, it's annoying, but like, I never found it as bad. really high. Yeah, like playing at a really high level, she's good because that not, information not is so crucial. Call. Not for her phone call, but the fact that she can hack cameras. Yeah, when you're and when people yeah when people are down, yeah. I love stringing them up with the string. It's so cool. I hate, I hate champions so much. They're popping over this thing going on. Is the champion just a yellow health bar enemy? Or... The champion is the guy that you need the specific weapon type to stun. Oh. Like the shield guy and that ogre you just... That, that ogre oh, but, you but, but Strand goes through it. That's why you like it. Right. Strand counters them all. Ah. Uh -huh. You can just lift them up and pass them a stun. Ooh. And then they gave Well of Radiance the entrance of the like, barrier. Oh, I keep forgetting about the laser. God damn it. I watch as a man doesn't die. Let me get that spell. Oh, let me get this friend this creature. Oh. I, the thing that I, I didn't like about Steve is that it, some of my friends, they, they act like the game was ever super tactical, which it never was. It was never like Arma tactical or like actual tech or technical thing game. Yeah, it's not like, like it's not Tarkov. Yeah, but like it did lose a bit of that tactical element because now it's, it's just about friends. Yeah, I mean, and and it's because once people kind of it's like a natural ability to aim, so it's not it wasn't the worst thing for me, but I know for like some of my friends, it's just oh my I don't I I I've always had good aim, but I've never had like I've never had the kind of aim that works for games like that. Like I I can like I I don't know why, but I've always been really good at really fast stuff. I choke on anything slow, uh, really See, hard. Not like really fast. It's like. But I mean, like, but like in the sense that like games were like the you the idea is to play them slow because of like you know you get one tap in the head or whatever right 
Like, I'm not the kind of person that, like, I don't know. My, because those games to me read as something I should play slow, I try to, even though you're right, you, like, in general, you actually, the more you play those games aggressively, the better you do as long as you're paying attention. I really struggle to play those games aggro, though, and it's, it's why I don't like Battle Royales either. Like I said, I, my instinct is to rack, because you staying alive is the goal, not getting kills. You know, like... At least in Battle Royales, actually, no, like, in Fortnite, riding is an option. The rest, no. I mean, I've, you say that, but I've been able to get, like, t I, I've always been able to get, like, top three or top five ratting in any of the battle runs. It's not hard. It's really easy to hide from people. You... So ratting is really popular in Apex, but, like, you really won't get anywhere ratting. Cause... Yeah, you don't learn how to fight. Exactly. That's why I never get good at those games. Yeah. Yeah. I hate, I hate Apex runs. I think, I think, I think it's too cool. I only hate Apex because it's not tight at all, but... why I hate Apex, because it is like Titanfall. What? I want more- no, I want Titanfall, fuck you. No, oh, because people play it like it's Titanfall and they do like the stupid like slide bunny hop bullshit. Except yeah. the game's not like built for that. Yeah, no, so they just look stupid. Yeah, I agree. They look but to stupid be, to, and it's like- But to be like fair, none of those- game. most of those people probably wouldn't play Titanfall if it came out. Nobody played Titanfall, as long as you have Apex. Hey, that's not true. People play Titanfall. I know, I played Titanfall. People, 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 and people play it right now. It's, the servers do pretty well on Steam. Well, too bad. Fucking, if it's not making a billion dollars, EA doesn't care. They literally just canceled Dead Space 2. They were like, oh, they were never actually working on it. Which, I'm like, bullshit. That shit was definitely in, like, pre-pre-production. <laughs> But no, now they're sentenced to an eternal fate of working on Battlefield. Oh and that God. Iron Man game, that's are not they real. Are they making another Battlefield? Yeah, of course they are. Yeah, the motive, the guys who did Dead Space, they got, they got, they got put on the, the Battlefield team with dice. So oh, yeah. Helping with oh my God, I just got laser beam. Holy shit. <laughs> they don't stop. I, that's weird. They just keep firing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's obnoxious. Why did my respawn timer get so long? Because we're in a respawn restricted. Now we're after wave uh, 20 or something. 20 or 30. 3, 2, 1. Oh, I want to have my suit first. I guess that works. You want to run the sport? Uh, I'm coming. Oh, nope. This guy's got it. Oh, no, he doesn't. Get over here, you're running this thing. Okay. Uh. Uh. Get it. And then use that button grapple with the gears. Oh, you know it. From the three point line. It's ten. It's twenty. The barrier helps stun them so I didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to stop right there and like... Fight. <laughs> I mean, not fight, but like... Skirmish, whatever. Not, like, not like, not just walk. run in there because you will die. Yeah. What round are we on now? Like, I think 35? Or I guess that would make us 36. Or 7 right here. I just ah. Uh, this one's taking a while. So it's not dropping. We're almost at an hour. Are we really? Yeah, we're running. Oh yeah. Why is this one so slow? Do we suck? Uh yeah, a little bit. Fair enough. I did ask. Bonus objective is back there.
Yes. Oh, okay. oh, fuck. I see it. Oh, I see it. Oh. at all because this game hates me. Oh, quest. Wow, 50% so far. Take one phone call and we get eliminated. Bro, because you got eliminated on the final wave with the boss and you kept getting, you just you were in one spot just kept dying. I should try to take a phone call. <laughs> My bad. Other, I also it took, it. it also Was took it both, fermenter? yeah, and it took me and the other dude a minute to realize, like, I saw him res you multiple times, not realizing you weren't. <laughs> yeah, so that was. Oh, my he bad. was. No, you're good. It's not a big deal. I, would, I need to go. To the Hall of Champions, not Heroes. Champions. To the Hall of Champions. I almost called it the Hall of Heroes again. I should have my bounties done. Uh, huh? I'd, uh, I'd say it's overall that guy's fault because you're taking too long. <laughs> It was only around 38 and we were there for an hour, so. God, that was really slow, huh? I thought maybe it was me, but I don't know. It could have been. Let's see. Don't need those. Is my. Elon, I... Twitter will now start charging a. Yeah, small I saw. Fee. I saw. We're, we're not going to talk about it. I don't understand what he's talking about. The, the, it's the only way. It's the only There's no other. There's no other way. Ignore the fact that Twitter didn't have this problem before he bought it. Yeah. No other Cause, way. Because it used to be moderated. Because there used to be people who worked here. They fired them all. Um, focus this. Got on my weapon ah, quest. One of our brightest returns. Wait, I need to Old get battles are just a lesson, Guardian. Should I unfocus the other one? Uh, if you activate one, it'll deactivate the other one. What if I don't? I only have one right now. I can deactivate yeah. it, yeah. Because I don't want it. Because I don't want it to be weighted towards a weapon I don't want. Wait, is that? No. Oh, I can't attune to it yet. Like... Right, um... What do you have for me, robot? Nothing. You're worthless to me. The Crucible beckons, Guardian. Will you answer? Wow, another edge transit. Yeah. There's a lot hey, of the another edge transit. Yeah, can I get a third one? Time. Wait, what rank am I with you? Time to fight, Guardian. What do you need? Rank four. I need to rank, be at least rank right five to get you. gear from him, right? To get like a the gear. Yeah. Rank six, rank ten, rank four. Okay, so rank six starts. And I guess I'll just spend them on this. Yay! I don't see giant fire. Hey, the recluse. Hey, succession. I hate everything. Succession's actually a pretty good sniper. I already have it. <laughs> you already have a. Tower attack. What do you have on it? Uh, 
This one I just got has reconstruction, snapshot, and indomitability. Given time, darkness so, will encroach again. We have I to be ready. I believe the brave weapon can also can roll with it, but the god roll for succession, at least the raid one is, uh, uh, reconstruction recombination. Okay. I don't care that you have strikes to get you. Let me, let me fact check with real American Patriots real quick. Destiny players, you mean? No, I'm looking it up. Um. Okay, so this can be... I had my strength go down. I didn't change anything. Oh, these don't have energy on them. That's fine. Yeah, you want reconstruction firing line or reconstruction recombination? Or even reconstruction vorpal. Okay. Um. What will this give me? The shard this, the shard that. What about the crucible? Legs. Oh, it's good. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, void solar arc. You tell the vanguard the fighting's not done. That means guardian training continues. Wait, so now I'm at two way. Oh, because these have so much strength on it. So. Does causing damage with a grenade, does that mean unstrand? Does that mean uh, grapple punch? I believe so. Okay. Yeah, because that counts as a, it doesn't count as a melee, it counts as your grenade. Okay. Ba -da 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 -da. If there's any fight left in you, Guardian, get up and give it to me. Grant classical energy, increase the grenade to resistance. The shard this, the shard that. What about the crucible? Why does he just keep repeating his stupid line? Shut up. Mm -hmm. Alright, so he wasn't cheating. That's good. Nice. Someone cleared Legend Onslaught solo. Yeah, I saw that on Twitter. Do do do. It's just not on there. Need more resilience. Oh, that's not resilience, actually. The shard this, the shard that. What about the crucible? Everything depends on the vampire. I'm gonna equip this one. I'm gonna buff it. I just want to that one. There we go. Crab. Everything depends on the vampire. 
What do you see when you look at the Phantom Cities of Mars? I see the Crucible. Is up. What the hell, Bungie? Did it just kick you? I was doing a dance Welcome and it just back. kicked me. Here to forge your light. Okay, okay, um. So I guess I just am still trying to get my stupid ass sword, Bungie. Because I have to kill sense. things with a sword now. In a mode where you don't give me a lot of ammo to kill things with the sword. <laughs> uh, should I grab more bounties from him? Always or? good to see another hero of the tower. No, nope, we're good. I don't grab it. Don't no. waste it. Okay. Character gets quests. Every day. It has to. We have. I make sure of it. Finishers, swords. Perform sparrow tricks. What? Okay. And I think I'm ready. You spin to win. Yep. Spin to win. Uh, fifty percent. Gotta go and do more onslaught. Security scan in onslaught. <laughs> I just want to oh. do it until I get my sword, and then I'm ready to be done with it. <laughs> At least for now. You're at fifty percent, you said. Yeah. I just need to be use. I wasn't honestly using it enough earlier. I was about to say you literally just need a spammed ass on bitch. Um, okay, I guess we'll try for the what time is it? Do I have time? Five? Two options off at seven? Yeah, I have time. Let's do it. Moth yards. Hopefully, we get somebody <laughs> more effective. Johnny's slow as fuck in here. Uh, what do I want to use this time? I need a cracked legendary shotgun. There's quite a few of those. Like, I just need something to pair with my Quicksilver. <laughs> and I want it to be a shotgun, because the Quicksilver kind of does range fine. Also, do our Grand Master strikes harder than uh, the bait, the first difficulty of the raid? The first difficulty of the raid? Aren't there aren't there different levels? Yeah, honestly, no. It's just. So, like, what do you do first? Do you hop into Grand Master strikes first, or do you hop into like the first raid? Most people do a raid. They'll end up doing a raid before a Grandmaster Nightfall. Okay. I don't. I don't think Grandmasters are particularly hard. It's just when you die, you have to restart. So like, one wipe and you're done. Show me everything, uh, Guardian. No limits here. They're not. They're not particularly hard. It's just you gotta like. Yeah, that's just, that's how. It works. There's just not a, a lot of room for error, I guess. Oh, we probably actually have to start and kill things. Oops. Oh no, man, Tyler. Guardian down. What? Huh? Someone's already dead. Yeah, me. How? Because I'm fighting everything and I'm getting beamed by everything because nobody else is up here. Okay, okay. Good this job, teammate. Took you for long, you know. Oh, he's there with you now. Okay. I gotta move so it doesn't count me. Yeah, okay. Just... Dude, my AC bro gets fuming in here. Oh, I couldn't. I don't know if you probably hear it when I'm talking sometimes, but I got a fan blowing on me right now. I can't hear it. Noise okay. suppression's pretty good. Like, I have one grind too. Hopefully, I'm gonna pick up sometimes. 
I also have a dynamic mic, so it literally only picks up like what's in front of it. I do not have a dynamic mic. So not, not you got like a condenser, I think. That... Yeah, it's a, it's a condenser mic. It's a nice one, but it's still a condenser. I like I like the way condensers sound, but background noise irks me a lot. So. And Low key, the reason for like YouTube, I only have YouTube compression and Discord compression sound like they make everything sound the exact same. Like yeah. Yeah. Um. And I noticed that, um, get over here, bitch. Uh, yeah, background noise is a problem for me, but also the nice thing is that sound suppression stuff has come up, oh god, come a long way. Um, so like, I have the fan going right now, and, um, I, I do make sure the room is completely quiet when I do, like, voiceover as best I can, um. But yeah, for the stream, I just turn the noise suppression up a little. It makes my voice a little bit less clear, but it's like it's better than hearing zzzz all the time. Yeah. It's actually the annoying thing is I was trying to get noise like when I was first doing videos um, on my other microphone. I had the filters just set as best I could, but noise just got through and it picked up the worst sounds from my voice. Like it really picked up the sibilance of like what S's. Mic, what mic did you have, uh... I had a Yeti. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. The olden tin can. But you know what? It taught me all I needed because it taught me it how to make the. Master at picking up the it, it, it was also designed to do that, and it does that well. Yeah, and it and the, it taught me how to create a space in an environment for recording, and it also taught me how to use filters and stuff because I just couldn't get away with not. Like I have a buddy who was who's been making videos for longer than I have, and he has a really nice setup. But he also never really figured out, like, his stuff doesn't really sound as good because he just never figured out how to, like, set it up properly with filters and things. I used to have a snowball in my way, so I'm like, you know, uh, The Yeti life. Not the Yeti life, but, like, fucking it's based. the ABS trying to figure out, like, how to get my voice to sound just right, not to complain. Do you any controller in there, like, do you any keyboard in there? The controller is never that bad, but like keyboard and mouse, dude, that thing is just up on a waiver on a snowball. Yeah, and I have to, my, the, uh, luckily the mine doesn't go too bad, but it, it does, like I have, and it's my own fault because I love my keyboard, but I made it before I was like, I built it before I was streaming, so it's, it's not clacky, I, 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 I like thock, not clack, <laughs> so my it's computer, yeah, like, uh, I don't know if the mic will pick this up. Can you hear that? No regrets on that one. Yeah, I can hear well that. Well Yeah. Do, 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 do. Um, luckily, when I'm playing games, I don't like push the keys a ton. Like it's just W A S D Q E R whatever. Um, because I don't play a lot of PC games that are super key intensive. When I'm playing WoW, it would be uh. I don't think I could play. I don't think I could play World of Warcraft on stream without adjusting some things, because that's very key intensive. You have to play. You have to play stream like a sound <laughs> I just. I definitely have to like adjust the mic, set it up higher, move it so it's hanging above me rather than in front of me. Yeah, and honestly, seriously, if you if, if you want to play, if, if, like straight straight up, if you want to play with a, uh, a thing that's made a huge difference for me, down like low key download a uh, fucking Steel Series Sonar. It's it, it's been really helpful. Like even just the like for my voice, right? Like my, I don't I don't use it to change my voice, but I I use it to smooth my voice. Like it has an equalizer that's really nifty. Like it's it's very simple to use and it works exactly intended. It just like cuts the peaks out. It makes my voice just a little bit more rounded and cool. Uh, especially when I'm like recording, recording. Like it's not as again it, it, the clarity and stuff is not as noticeable when streaming, but when I'm doing the recording, it definitely like helps me sound less sibilant. 
So far, the only thing that going XLR has really, like, down downtrodden me is that this mic is pretty damn quiet. Yeah. When it's XLR. So I have to do like a lot of awkward like in post. Uh, oh, do you not have a wait? Do you not have a do you not have an amp for it? Uh, this mic doesn't need an amp. though. No. It doesn't need one, but it. Huh, that's weird. I know, so it I'm just saying. I know. I just don't have one like as of now. It doesn't need one, but it is quiet. That's weird. I mean, it makes sense. It, it can probably use one, right? It's it's Conden optional. Condenser mics needs condenser mic need uh, needs amps. Okay. Uh, dynamic mics do not. Okay, because I was I was really into I, I don't know the mic side of it as well, but I was really into audio from like a headphone standpoint once upon a time, like and not just like not, not like normal people, like like way too into it, like yeah. lots and lots of money. Like uh, my thing has phantom power. I just turned it on. Like I don't, I don't know if it makes a difference at all. It that's only really gonna help if you're if you have yeah. a bunch of sig if you have a bunch of signals. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like phantom power. All it does for me is just amplify my plosives. I, I used to have I used to have a pair of ZMF Verite headphones. Oh my god, they were the nicest. They're like the nicest thing I've ever put on my head. But uh, I would, like, what, when I moved out of okay. my parents' house, I sold them so I could buy stuff for the uh, place that we were living in. Yeah, I got Sennheiser SR850 These things are a dream right here. 850. Wait, oh, okay, okay, wait. 850s are the, they're the big ones, right? SR850, yeah. Uh, like, I always forget because I always feel like they, they, I always feel like they put an extra number in front of it. Um, do, 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 do. yeah, no, I, I, uh, that, that's the, um, wait, SR850. Oh no, I'm thinking of the HD800. That's what I said. Yeah, that's. I, I, I wish. <laughs> yeah, but like my my head. <laughs> let me put it this way. My headphones were for people that didn't think that the 800 was good enough. <laughs> like, like again, it was it was a dumb thing. Like it was a a, a dumb thing from when I had a lot more disposable. Like I do. I have really nice earbuds. I use cheap. So right now I'm using cheap KZ earbuds, KZs or whatever, because yeah, uh, they're what I have on hand. Because I I I went to replace the mesh on my nice ones, and I. I like poked a hole in it and I didn't realize it wasn't meant to be replaced by the user like I'm supposed to send them in and so I still haven't done that because like the sending my earbuds in is like fifty dollars um, yeah so I have a pair of I have a pair of uh, 64 audio u 60s so those are and those are what I have like I have a very case I have I just need to send them off and I'm like I it's sad because like I I bought them at a time when it wasn't stupid that I had twelve hundred dollar earbuds, but now I can't afford to repair them because I'm too poor. <laughs> like, uh, and I I've that much on like and and yeah it was it was literally like it was excess like I so when I I sold my other stuff basically so I sold my other headphones and my amp. My headphones before were tw my, my Verites were twenty four hundred dollars because they're they're bes they're bespoke they're made they're they're custom made they were made with um uh Japanese ash wood they were they were burnished in like a traditional Japanese style and this is this is just like an option I chose because like he'd been playing with different stuff but the guy who makes them like like I specifically like spent time talking with him like consulting about which of the different bottles he makes and like it's a very like personal really like and it's an experience for rich people that I got to have because I threw money away when I was young. <laughs> right, like it's not so... Disposable income as a young person's dangerous. So, yeah, so like what happened was is my, my stepdad who, like not in a sad way because he, he was shitty, but he passed away and we got some money for it and so I used that. I just was like, oh, okay, uh -huh. like, and I was young and stupid and thought, oh, I'll just blow money on something I want. And so I like, I spent months shop. I, I waited a long time for them too. Like I had to wait for them to like actually be available and then get made and yada yada. And yeah, they were really nice. And then I got rid of them because I realized it was such a, I couldn't, it made listening to anything not at my desk shit. That's the problem with higher quality stuff. The more you move up, you start to just, it becomes normal, but then you just can't appreciate lesser. And that's what's, that's what like is the unfortunate thing people don't want to admit when they have nice stuff is sooner or later it just becomes what you're used to and you don't really get the same enjoyment out of it what you get is disappointment from anything not that good <laughs> yeah like 
and so that's really what happened. So I got the, I transitioned to the earbuds because I sold them. They they cost literally half as much as the headphones, so it gave me an extra thousand dollars to buy stuff while we were setting up our house and stuff like that at the time. And, uh, you know, before the economy was shit, and we found out that no one our age is ever gonna own a home. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I got the earbuds. I, part of the reason I got the earbuds is because it's as simple as I could plug them into my PS5 controller. She, like, you should have seen the setup I had to run to make it so I could hear my audio through my PlayStation and get 3D PS5 audio running through a non-Sony headphones. It was wacky. Because 3D audio was legitimately impressive, but like, it's like, only really, you can only access it with stuff you can plug straight into the controller or... Sony headphones. Or those Sony, those stupid expensive Sony headphones that look like... The pulses and their shit. I had the original ones, the $100 ones that launched the PS5. They're, they, 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 they're not even over ears, they're on ears. And they hurt. Ugh. Yeah, on ear head... They're literally headphones for people who are like, we. I want over ears, but at home. Like... It's sad, they're just ass. My brother has a pair of Beats, and the Beats are on ears. Oh, he, so he has the solos. Uh, see, I had, I had Beats way back... Okay, I had the Beats way back in the day that were the, the studios, which were over here. And that's yeah. when I was I was young and I was still learning about headphones and stuff, so they were cool. I mean, I liked them back in the day. It's one of those things where I think people like to shit on stuff because it makes them feel better. I like shitting like, on Beats because I think they suck. But, yeah, I mean, they're not great. You want to know what's funny is they got worse when Apple bought them. Yeah. Good work, Guardian. Like, they weren't Your great, but they got worse. <laughs> yeah, now they're like super basic. Yeah, and they were already kind of bass heavy, but they still had like a bit of like neutrality for studio application on some level. Because like you couldn't all shoot. All I know, all I know is that Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre's ass was lying. He was not using them some bitches in the studio. No, he was not. Everybody's everybody in the studio just uses Audio Technica AT fifty X's. Yeah, or the Baird nineteen nineties. Yeah. I almost that was my that, I almost got a pair of nineteen nineties originally. Oh. I was, I was actually gonna go with the uh, before I got my I was gonna go with some uh, IEMs. Yeah. But uh, I just decided not because I don't know. Like, I had. I like my IEMs, but making the transition was honestly tough for me because like I've always used earbuds, but like then I spent a long time adapting to using really nice over ear open back and closed back headphones. So then putting something in my ears felt really weird for a while. Yeah. Well, uh, I, already, I already put enough shit in my ear as it was on my right Okay. Yeah. I will say, when I do use earbuds on my like, ear on my uh, I, I just use a pair of Apple Dirty Buds as I've, as yeah. I've deemed them. <laughs> yeah. What's funny is they're better than a lot of stuff. I know. I, Apple Dirty Buds are like some of the like. Well, it's like their li it, well, it's like their little that little uh, converter they make for US uh, 3.5 to USB C. That's like that's like best in the industry in terms of consistency and functionality for a small amp DAC. Like, mm -hmm. it's yeah, like you can't really get like when they're looking when people are looking at stuff, you can't really get anything better unless you need something that provides a bunch of power. Yeah, that's what that's, what, that's also what like made me decide against IEMs was like. I have Apple Dirty Buds, and so I mainly like play video games. I'm not using it for, like, I'm not that into audio to where it's like a super. Oh, you want to see that? That literally like the tism is strong with the video game in me. I literally was like, I need to have the best audio possible to make games sound as good as possible. Like, yeah, like I listen to music, but in like my, in my eyes, like games only like games can only sound like really as good as the machine will let it. Does that make sense? But see, there, there's there's a lot of exceptions to that. Like you have something like like bro, I wish I had my fancy headphones while I was playing Avatar because that the sound engineering they put into that game is insane. Like I don't know if you've seen my video on it, but like they, it's nuts. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I know what you're talking about. And like you can't really appreciate all that without something higher fidelity than what I was using. There is a noticeable difference when it's like on my Sennheisers compared to my buds. I don't know, I'm not like, bad in the audio. Oh no. I care, I care about picture more than I care about audio to a degree. Oh yeah, for sure. I know, but I'm I, saying like, on the I was order just, of operations it goes like, 
gameplay, visual, and audio. Like, I've played some games with some shit ass audio. I was saying, and, and to me it was just a matter of like min-maxing, like I was just being, oh, it was overkill. Like it was me being like, video games, be better, sound better, play better, like. Like, you, you, don't, you don't understand like, playing an old ass like 360 game or God forbid like a PS2 game. I remember, the, oh god. Through the, through the official release on PC, because those games are oh, big yeah. crud hell and back. No, I've played some of them because when I got my PC back in the day, like I... I picked up some games. Those games were only a few years old at the time, right? Whereas now they're a lot older. But um, like, yeah, back back in the day, I picked up a lot of those kinds of games when I was first getting into PC, and I was like, oh, that's when you kind of learn that like there are certain games and generations that like, oh, that's a uh, you don't play that on a PC, okay? <laughs> like, I was playing Max Payne. I fucking love Max Payne, but goddamn, I've never it, played it, it a Max like, Payne game, and I'm I'm gonna play them, but I'm good. I'm gonna play them in preparation like for the remake no i'm gonna play them and then the remakes i always i i don't like playing just the remakes because i i i don't i don't know i just i'm i'm a purist yeah, on some level like you're gonna to play them for when the remake like yeah yeah or... yep i'll play them and then i'll play the remake because i just like getting to compare and also just like it's fun seeing a thing that you understand updated right seeing what they well, chose like, to on pc that game is like oh my god audio could sound like this <laughs> Oh. My doc- I had a doctor's appointment this morning, my doctor's a gamer, so it was kind of funny because we were talking about games and stuff and I was talking about, you know, like, what I've been playing or whatever. And he's, like, actually, like, a chill, normal person who is, like, he's, like, have you- he's, like, I just watched, like, the first two episodes of Fallout. I was, like, it's really good, right? He's, like, I'm so glad it's good. He's, like, man, he's, like, gamers are dumb, though. He's, like, people are saying that that lady Lucy's not pretty. And he's, like, she's so pretty. I'm, like, right? Doc, you know it. Like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, we were talking about that, but, um, just game stuff in general. I was like, yeah, I know, I was, I, I was talking to him about Suicide Squad, I was like, it's, because he plays Destiny, and he was like, uh, he's like, no, he's like, I don't think it looked that bad. I was like, because you played Destiny since the beginning, right? He's like, yeah, and I was like, and you remember at the beginning, and he was like, yeah, it was awful. Like, just bad game. I was like, yeah, okay, like, <laughs> same page. Yeah. Well, and it's, it's funny because like he's always he's been like an actual he's one of the few like actual core gamers I've known since I was young because like I've been going to the same doctor for like well over a decade and like he uh yeah like he's always been like an actual gamer like he plays like all different kinds of stuff and all different you know new stuff old stuff all different genres like he's super into his PC setup and his he got his sons are two little nerds like. To the fall? Yeah, it's actually pretty good. I like, I like how it's faithful to the game. Yeah, okay. Uh, other than that, about your prostate. <laughs> yeah, <what? laughs> Luckily, I'm not that old. I, I, although I've heard it probably doesn't matter how old you are. I'm not at the point where the doctor insists on that. Thank God. It's good to get it checked every. Yeah, I know I'm. I'm. I know I'm at that age. Like I know 30s when they're like, okay, you like be safe, get started in tech play. I'm like, I, I'm probably gonna get close. Like, uh, I already don't like doc going to the doctor. I, which, not, which is weird, because I, I was a really sickly kid, so like I spent a lot of time with, at the doctor when I was young. But like, my doctors were always cool, so I don't know. I think it's just like, it's, it's more it's more the environment. It's like the doctor's offices and like yeah, the, hospitals. The sterile, like, yeah. Oh. Wait, what? You look like skinny as fuck in your video, and I missed this one. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm short as fuck, right? So okay. BMI, same, BMI, same. Uh, what's it called? It's designated for people who are above 5'6, right? Yeah. But when you're wait, short, how, wait, how short are, wait, how short are you? I'm 5'4". Bro, you're short short! Oh shit, okay, now I, now I don't feel- I'm like- People call me short, and I'm like 5'7 and a half. Um... So like, I- But I'm like 120 pounds, but I also work out, so a lot of it's muscle. 
Oh, uh, so like <laughs> the doctor called you overweight? On, on, on the beat, because they're like legally required to like tell you like in your BMI. I'm overweight. In, in the last year, I put on like eight pounds because I was like, like putting on a uh, putting on weight but, on purpose. But, but BMI doesn't account for muscle, does it? No, it does not. Yeah. So if that's you're, why that's it, why it's just so that's so if you're me. okay, so you're fit, but because you're fit, your doctor had to tell you you're fat. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're, you're medically overweight. I'm like, all right. I was a fat kid most of my life. What's weird though is that like, it was hard for me to be like one of those people that was really like motivated to work on it. Like I tried everything. Like I had a really crazy workout regime at one point where I had like a personal trainer and like, bro, I was like destined fat kid like i could not drop the pounds like I, I did three hours four times a week at the gym like when i was i don't know 15 or something with a personal trainer i didn't drop a pound in like two months right like and it wasn't like in you know i know like you build muscle and muscles heavier but you burn fat and then build muscle like it's a it's a one than the other right yeah it was it sucked now i'm not a fat kid but that's just because drugs. I don't know, that's why. I, that's pretty much ever since I. No, not start to start with my hands, but. Not long after. Or not long before that. Uh. Oh, sorry, no, yeah, like, I've always been, like, fucking. Skin and bones. Like, I'm like the definition of like a fucking sport, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. See, I was, I was a really chubby kid for a long time. Like, I wasn't when I was really young. Like, I was like, I was a normal, like, average skinny-ish kid like, until I was like nine or ten, and then I started getting like really fat. And then I was pretty fat until like I don't know. I lost some weight in high school, and then I gained a bunch of weight back like right after high school, and then I don't know. A few years ago, it just kind of started slowly. I just started getting older and like, I don't know, I think my body just adjusted differently finally to a point where like, because I've never been an overeater or anything. Like I was, that was the frustrating thing. I was a fat kid who didn't eat that much food and who didn't really like eat super unhealthy or anything. Like I didn't gorge myself or any of that shit. I was just like a fat kid. I'd do workouts, didn't stop being a fat kid. Like it was really frustrating to motivate me as a kid because I was like, what the hell? Like I was not that kid who was unwilling to work for it. I was like, I just don't want to be a fat kid. And the world was like, fuck you. I was just really I think I didn't hit 100 pounds like freshman year of high school. <laughs> oh shit. Bro, freshman year of high school, I was like 200 pounds. <laughs> oh shit, you wrestled. Yeah. Maintain that for a couple of years. And make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. And then I, I let myself go. By that don't they? Don't they generally? Isn't sh isn't like short and stocky the build for wrestling, right? Uh, yes. Like, are you like one twenty pounders and below? I I, I honestly, because I I was told that I would have been like I I wasn't ever gonna do any athletic shit, but I was told I had like a build for wrestling because I was like five six in high school, like I hadn't quite finished getting taller yet, I didn't have my final like growth spurt or whatever, and I was but I was like hundred and. I, like, I'm 180 pounds now, but an extra two inches slims you down a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I like, I like, I look like an actual person before, but before, like, or not before, now, but before I, when I was like 100 pounds, I looked like a ghoul. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> just like, like yeah. actually skin and bone, just gaunt. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I looked like a sailor who hadn't had enough food of the fucking expedition. You're like, I got this Garvey. Yeah. Like, there's a picture of me in, like, a gas station before we went to that movie. And, like, like, here I have no technology whatsoever, because, like, there's nothing there. I'm like, I'm like dude, nothing. oh my god, was it really that bad? I was like a meth addict. Okay, gotta use my sword now that there's heavy ammo about. What round are we on now? Uh, I think we're not respawn restricted, so I think we're still in a, I think we're at, Right. It's 30 when it changes, us, right? That put us at, I believe, 17 or 27. One of the two, I don't remember. I don't know how many bosses we fought. Based on the fact we're at 25 minutes, I'm going to get 17. Ooh. 
Yep. I'm a fucking genius. Ow, ow. I'm fucking bad. Damn, I'm like, I forget you have a block with the sword. God damn it. I mean, it'll protect me from like. It works, but like, I don't think I've ever seen anyone use it that wasn't like about to like speed run the shit out of something. Trying to get, trying to get where I'm at now, because like, there's a stigma in like the, in like the gym community, I guess, where it's like, uh, people who are fat have a, have it a lot easier when trying to get in shape than like guys who are skinny. Because yeah, there's more mass to build muscle with. Not only is there more mass and like more muscle off the start, but it's a lot easier to slim down than to bulk up. Yeah. I know that, like that, that again, like that's the kind of shit that drove me crazy. Is like I knew that, and I was like the boy wonder. Like I just could not drop weight. It was frustrating. I was I went to a nutritionist at one point, and they're like, I don't know what's wrong with you. You have the metabolism of an eighty year old. I was about to say yeah, it's probably just like metabolism. My, bro my brother was bigger than me, like because his metabolism was just slower. And, yeah. But now that like he's also a wrestler, and he's in shape, and he's fine. Massive compared to me. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> Is he your younger or older brother? Younger. Dude, 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 dude. Uh -huh. Like he looks like one, he looks like one and a half me. He's like, I'm like, dude, holy shit. You're like, that's not fair, bro. Like, he also weighs like ten more pounds than me. <laughs> like, nobody, nobody fluctuates the like, weight like a wrestler does. Yeah, I know. Oh, you bastard. Why'd you have to do that right as I fucking... Yeah, I luckily wasn't one of the wrestlers that fluctuated weight, but like... My brother would go from like 130 to having to wrestle 120 by the weekend, and he'd make it every single time. I'm like, how the fuck? I was talking to one of my friends earlier, we were talking about, like, was talking about Fallout. Mm -hmm. I was talking about Fallout. I was talking about Fallout. I was talking about Fallout. I was talking about how old I was. Dude, at this point, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I said this word for it. I said, at this point, I don't care anymore. Fallout's everything. Yes! Uh, You've come to their side. I was like, I probably just played it at the wrong time, but like, dude. It's gotten so much better. Like, I haven't even played- I, I, play no, I played it like a couple months ago. I was just really bored. Like, I, I just wasn't in like- You have to be in the mood for Fallout, yeah. And like, part of what makes it fun is like, you have to have kind of the mindset for- You're just there to kind of explore and gather and, and build up your little base and have your own person. Like, yeah. like my, my whole thing was that like, you have to kind of, I think on some level, you either have to be looking for endgame or you have to care about your camp. And like for me, it was caring about the camp. Like when I found out you could have I'm your own- I'm playing it like an RPG, but they've actually just turned into like a survival game at this point. But it's like, it's, it, but it's like a survival game without the worst it's stuff. Like you're not chopping yeah, down it's trees. Awful, like, yeah, it's you're not- awful, like, I hate survival games. Yeah, I'm, I don't hate them, but I, I have a very low patience for them. Like I, you have to make it fun, fast, or I'm done. Because I've played too many where it's just like, bro, do this. Thing. I've played too many games that are like Ark. Just chop trees for 40 hours, you know? Like, no thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I, I actually, that's why I like 76. Because it's more about gathering your survival stuff from the uh, world, you know? Rather than it is about, like, actually harvesting it, per se. The only thing you really have to harvest is water. Yeah, and like, I just, man, it's so cool that you can have like, a, it, it's such a silly thing to me, but the fact that you can engage in an actual like, little private economy with the stuff you gather and people actually show up and buy it is so cool. Yeah, that's 
fun to survive. I was like, fuck, I don't care anymore. Call for him. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. I was like, Fallout 3 blows the chunks and Fallout 4. Uh, it's boring. It's just better Fallout 4. It is. Like, that. that's a bit... And a lot of that, a lot of it is, is if you give it a chance, the writing as you get further into it gets pretty fun. Like they, they actually, it's it's actually, good Fallout I actually writing. Was like enjoy, I was actually enjoying it, but then I got the Rose and the Raiders. Uh, yeah, Ro Rose is annoying. Rose is she, bad. She's the filter for a lot of people, unfortunately. I think they've made it yeah. so that you can't really have to deal with her now, from what I've heard. No, you can skip it because now you can skip and go right into like wasteland or whatever. So it's like twenty. You don't have to do the most. Okay, yeah. See, and I and I remember when I played, I didn't even skip wastelanders, and I still enjoyed it. It's just, I like I sk didn't skip two wastelanders. I I did the base game first. Yeah. Um. I heard it. It actually does look pretty cool. Like you have the and shit. Yeah, no, and that's the nice thing is here's one thing I love. It has the one. It has the dialogue system everybody's wanted from fucking Bethesda games, just like Starfield. It, it went back to the good. But, dialogue system instead of the stupid wheel from Fallout 4. And it's not an RPG, so just, I mean, just like Fallout 4, the dialogue doesn't matter. But it, the thing is, is it's like, it, there's more options and like there's yeah. more responses, right? It doesn't matter in terms of progression, but it makes you feel more connected to the characters. It makes you feel like you're actually doing something. Yeah, like you're, you're making choices, you're not just giving off canned responses. Because it, you don't have a voice actor playing your character for you, you know? Yes, uh, yes, I'll do your quest. Yes, but sarcastic. Uh, no, I don't want to do the quest right now. Uh, tell me more. Uh, more options. Yeah, I just gotta hate that stuff. Guys, look, we're like Mass Effect. We have voice acted dialogue. So, oh, that was so. Uh, I just need to get more sword kills. I was like, I was like, 76 is just better for, I don't care at this point. It, it really and, feels uh, like it to me, but people look at me like I think I'm the only thing I don't like about it is the perk system, but even then, compared to Fallout 4, it's still fucking better. I, I, I didn't, and here's the thing too, I really didn't like the perk system until I got towards the end game, and then it really was like, oh, like it really starts to become cool because then you get legendary perks and yeah, stuff like that. It starts to actually could become interesting. Um, it starts out really lame, though, I agree. And I think part of that is that, like, it just, it just is the, that's part of the live service stuff, where it's like, yep. they kind of tried like, to, it's like a survival that, game now, they have to that's, change the perks. Yeah, it's the, it's, a, it's awesome, it's actually, it's more your, it's your build craft, that's what it is, yeah. But like, uh, Because you definitely have different builds forward. in it. Yeah, and what's cool, though, is you actually have builds, like you do in a game like this or whatever, like. You want an actual RPG. Yeah, like you have you have shotgun you have shotgun junkie build, you have I had a shotgun I had a shotgun build. Yeah, you had shotgun like, junkie, I, I was, you have melee I didn't like before you do it. You have like melee berserker, you have stealth sniper, you have power you have power armor, heavy weapon, like there are all sorts of different builds you can do. You can do melee user with power armor, melee user without it. There's all I sorts remember, of different uh, like, I like power armor, so naturally that was the first of my build when I played way back when, was just, I went for the power armor, heavy weapons. Um, yeah, no, it, it's fun. My, my friend's also a Fallout 4, uh, a hater, so, he was talking about <laughs> I really, it's funny, because I remember being really excited for 4, and really, I put 100 hours in when it came out, way back in the day, and then I didn't get the DLC or play anymore, because I was like, it was fine. I remember that's when I was kind of finally bored of Bethesda games in a sense. I was like, oh, this isn't really what I wanted. Um, I like I like Starfield better than Fallout 4. Well, I haven't played Starfield. I don't play Starfield. The only reason I would say not to play Starfield is just the loading screens. If they didn't have the load screen stuff, it wouldn't be... It's actually like a really fun game, but the load screens really break up the immersion and the pacing a lot. They're the biggest drawback. And, it, and it's unfortunate because they only have it because people, they wanted to trick people into thinking there was going to be some kind of ship stuff, and it's like, you didn't even need it. If they'd just given up on letting you go into space and fly a ship, the game would be better. But they they, they, pro they knew that that was an appeal thing, and it's like, guys, you can't... I hate... What I hate, though, is people that are like, man, I, you can't fly from the planet into space. The part that almost sold me on Starfield was when they were showing off at, like, uh, I think it was... Summer Games Fest or something, like an Xbox showcase. 
I was like, oh, Starfield? I don't care. I was like, get off my screen. And then they started customizing yeah. the ship. I was like, no way. See, and it's cool, but here's the thing is it's like you don't, you fly the ship in like these canned instances with enemies I that like, yeah, and it's like, and, 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 I, and I'm not surprised. I'm frustrated that they included that because people kind of made them when that wasn't ever really practical. Like, yeah. The, like basically what I always said when I said before Starfield came out and when people were complaining about it was you guys wanted Star Citizen and you're mad you didn't like like they're not gonna do what Star Citizen hasn't been able to do yet like what, what do you think what are you talking about like that was the part that always killed me is it's just like you guys don't think Star Citizen is a thing but then you act but then you want things that only Star Citizen has been able to achieve like about the building in a Fallout 76. Fallout 4 doesn't have builds. You can spec into literally everything. Yeah, no, no, there's, there's like no actual... Downside. Yeah, there's actual RPGs in Fallout 76. Also, the crafting and builds in the camp system is way be better, and it doesn't feel like some... It doesn't feel like some stupid thing you're forced to do. You do it because it's really fun. Really like. It's something you do because it's fun, and if you want it... And you don't have to do it any more than you want to. That's the nice part. It's like, it's both you do it because you like it, but if you don't like it, you don't have to do it. Oh. Oh, he's right here. What is he doing? Go to the bathroom, please. Our thing's fucking. Our thing's gonna get destroyed. I'm gonna get destroyed, bro. Why? Because the tormentor's in the thing and it causes the thing to lose health. Oh, I'll just stand in there. Enemies are in the circle. Oh, I thought they're they had to actually. Out. I, had to, I thought they actually had to shoot it. No, as long as they're in the circle, they can it. And our guy has literally no interest in shooting the enemies. Like, no. No losses. Only lessons. Fight again. So it's over there. Yeah, it's over there. At least that one was wait, only 30 minutes. Wait, wait. I told you! He had no interest in killing the enemies. What was he doing? I don't... Wait, okay, that guy joined in late. Okay, okay he, he okay, he, yeah, he was only there for the last two waves. Jesus. He was at 16 enemies. In two waves, um, interesting. That's eight per wave. <laughs> I didn't make like, uh, any progress in that, god damn it. Were you using I mean, I your did. Sword? I am, but it's just like, it's hard because there's always the exploder around, and when I'm, I have to actually get the kills, so like, yeah. Every time there's not exploders, they just get blowed up anyway, and I, the ma the sword only takes out a handful of enemies at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Yeah, 59%. Like, I remember I had a, uh... I had, like, a, I had like a holy shit moment when I realized that in Fallout four there's literally no downside to like anything because my friend had like two different builds going at builds in quotations going at the same time because mm -hmm. he was specced into like both melee and like shotguns <laughs> and then when he tried to play new vegas which seasonal challenges give you something he tried to do a melee uh do what oh. challenges oh they give you bright dust okay some this... do not all of them but most do okay he tried playing new vegas and he and he uttered the words. We've made fun of him for this ever since. He uttered the words. In new, it's impossible to do a melee build in New Vegas. Bro. Because he got he trapped outside of uh, Doc's house at the start of the game by a gold rad scorpion. Because he went to the rad scorpion place. So. He's natural bad. selection. <laughs> yes. He said... He said that it's impossible to do a melee build, so just to spite him, my friend did a uh, melee build in Fallout 3 and New Vegas. And in Fallout 3, there is one melee weapon. Fist? That you can build with. No, it's like an actual like weapon. I don't oh. know how it's called. No, but power there's like fist. only one you can actually... I think it's like a chainsaw type thing, I don't know. I can't oh, remember. Okay. okay, let's do a normal one. Oh, uh, just like a playlist? Yeah, because I lose track of what's happening when we go for too long. Yeah. <laughs> like, low-key, I just kind of, like, my brain turns off and I keep forgetting to do my swords, though. 60% <laughs> is not where I want to be. I want to be at 100. 
Wait, oh, why do I have ugly armor? I forgot to put my shader on and shit. I want that one. I just... Why do I keep getting this guy on my Twitter feed? Nobody likes this guy. Is it me? It's me. <laughs> no, it's Sleepy Devo. Ooh. Got that. Okay. I got an emote, a timeout emote from my bright and green wham. So fancy. Oh wait, that's a cool shader. Nothing to help you but your team and your weapon. I don't care. Fight. <laughs> Who keeps t talking to you about Warhammer? On on Twitter, because uh, the culture war guys have gotten into Warhammer. Uh, they've gotten into. They've always been into it. It's actually because a lot of it turns out there's like a trend of like trans girls really like Warhammer. It's like low key a meme. Um, and and it's like New the, Vegas. yeah, and the incels don't like that. That's become a meme that their community is like, That's what that's what they're mad about. Like, now there's like a, a gay Warhammer. There's like. One of the factions like has a woman character or something. I don't know Norgy. In Warhammer, no, they're no, it's not new. It's literally it's they're I, just I know not, it's not new, like it's new to them. No, it's not even that. They're literally throwing a fit about like queer people painting minis in queer co pride colors and shit. Like that's where this yeah, all like, started. It's, 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 like, it's, they're not even like they're not even like officially like because don't they just sell the minis as blank and then you paint them? Yes, and they're painting them in custom you? colors. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And 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 no, it matters because uh, Games Workshop <clears throat> has shown them off or highlighted them as featured fan creations in their magazines and shit and on the web. Like, it's literally that. It's they've so shown that, the most. That's what you, that's what you they've shown the most bare. They've sh the they've shown the most bare minimum level of like queer support, and the incels are like. <laughs> Yeah, you you do stuff for the fans. And if they're the ones buying your toys and painting them. Yeah, when you could just go get a 3D printer and skip that bullshit. And you know the trans girlies are smart enough to know that. Yeah. <laughs> like let's be real. Yeah, they given the in STEM. Yeah, they're giving they're giving Games Workshop money just out of the kindness of their hearts, because they can get 3D printed that shit. Yeah, it's not like these are like Jim Henson's creature shop where they're like meticulously handcrafted. They're probably all like mass produced on a factory line with 3D printers and you paint them yourself. Yeah. To be, what I've heard is that on the the one fairness that they give to the Games Workshop stuff is that the plastic that they use or the the molded plastic that they use or whatever is far more durable. It's not. It doesn't even always look as nice as some good 3D printed stuff, but it's always more durable. I've heard that resin 3D print, like resin plastics, are very, very prone to shattering. So if you drop yeah, a miniature, it's gonna break. Like, when you're, when you're, also like when you're painting it. I mean, like, yeah, you, you, you don't want to drop things. Well, and you just drop pieces while you're working on them and stuff. Work, Guardian. Your light is strong. I've always been into like nerd shit, but I've never, I've never gotten like Warhammer, like magic, like that type I, of nerd shit. I only got into it because I played Yu-Gi-Oh in a brief stint as a young kid, and I so I went to the comic shop and met all the Warhammer and magic nerds. Um, and I, I dabble sometimes. Like I, I had a stint with card games a few months ago where I was playing a bunch of Magic and the One Piece card game and stuff. But they're too expensive. I'm too poor to be up to keep up with that shit. Same with Warhammer. I'm into all the nerd hobbies, it's just what can I afford, yeah. and video, believe it or not, despite what people would tell you, video, they're the most affordable, yeah. Bro, get, tell me, find me, find me any form of entertainment on earth that is more dollars for your money than Game Pass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, probably, uh, fucking, uh, no, cause I know some people, like, they, they measure theirs as, like, dollar per hour spent, so. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what if you do dollar per hour spend, it'd still be Game Pass all day, every day. Yeah, I was gonna say like AMC A list or whatever it's called. Is that what yeah, you basically you'd have to rewatch so many movies to get the same hours out of. Well, yeah. You, well, if you get like, if you're counting like the same like Game Pass, like it's a hundred hours, so it's like 
You don't yeah, get I mean, that from AMC, but like. Yeah, because I mean, each game, each video, even the shortest of games are longer than most theater. movies. You're not like a movie rat, like a movie theater rat, like I am. Yeah, like I, which is funny because my fiance works at one. Lol. We need to see. I, I still haven't seen Dune two. <laughs> Man. I know. It, leave theater. I, I know. <laughs> I have a pretty TV. It's okay. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. Uh, we just always, we fun. always, we always talk about going, and then we're both just like, man, like, we have to be around people. It's like I don't want to. What if there's someone annoying in the theater? Like, mm -hmm. what if someone brings their kid? Like, and it's like to us, it's like for the effort to even go out. It's like, why would I bother? Having the chance that my experience is going to be ruined and uncomfortable when I could just not. And, uh, but at the same time, we both love the theater experience, so it's frustrating. So, like, we only, say, we only go to. Pretty, beats that, like, projector, that theater projector, like, fucking. Yeah, like. like and, and so when we go see movies, the only. And the problem is, so the, what we've decided is the only time movies are worth seeing is if we're going to spend the money to go see them in the Dolby Cinema because parents don't pay to take their kids to that shit, luckily. Uh, because they don't want to pay an extra, they don't want to pay triple for the ticket. I'm like, fair enough, but I, I will just to not have you in here. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, isn't that isn't that much more expensive? At least for I don't know, movie tickets like standard like twelve bucks. I think IMAX is more. IMAX is like twenty. Like, IMAX is like twenty two, but um. Ooh. Or, that's not how much it is. It's like fifteen for me. Oh yeah, no. I'm. But we. I think our I, our local IMAX is. Like, I think it's a true IMAX, I think, maybe? Is it a 70mm? I think so. Yeah, so okay, I think that it, makes sense. So I think it's, I, I think, the, uh, Limax, the, uh, or whatever. Yeah, well, and ours is through AMC, but it's, you know, whatever. Yeah. I know, yeah, I don't Um, but yeah, so we have, we have, I think we have that, and then, but the Dolby Cinema, those are actually more expensive. Those are 29 I think, for a ticket. I'm pretty sure, it's 27 oh, or something. It's almost thirty dollars for a ticket to uh, the Dolby Cinema. Oh no 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 that no that, that's because we saw. I'm sorry, we've only seen Dolby Cinema movies in 3D. That's why. <laughs> oh yeah. Because because like because because Dolby Cinema 3D Avatar Way of Water was thirty dollars a ticket, twenty nine. Oh yeah, that's like. Fucking... But that's like that was peak. Like that was that was the greatest oh, visual. Content. Yeah, like greatest audio visual experience ever in my life. I can't stand it. I would never use 3D if it was anything other than Avatar. Avatar is built from the ground up with that shit in mind, so it's different. I still haven't seen Avatar too. I mean, it's kind of like one of those things where I'd say go see it, but like unless you have like the nicest of nicest OLED TVs, fucking why yeah, bother? Yeah, that's why. Because I missed it in theaters. I'm like, I'm not gonna watch it on my fucking. Yeah, like, like it's. TV. Like I, I wouldn't. I don't even have any interest in rewatching it. Like it was a, it was a spectacle. You go to watch them in theaters in their at the highest. Even from what I've seen from like. The, the compressed as fuck Twitter clips. I'm like, dude, this movie's fucking beautiful. Yeah, it, it's gorgeous and it's it sounds incredible too. Like those are the big things. It's gorgeous. It sounded incredible. It's something you see in a premium theater and never again. And James you know? Cameron, my beloved. Because like I and because people are like the story's bland. It's like yeah, because this guy has to sell it to 200 million in people in China as well, guys. He can't tell you a politically divisive story that would challenge culture norms in any way. He tells a basic story about family. Why? Because he can sell that to people all around the world without risk of, you know, if you look controversy. At for more than two seconds, it's like it has like even when I remember the from the first one, it's like baby's first like colonialism story. It's like. Yeah, but it's, it's also it's, a simple, it's not a simple movie. It's just no, like, it's it's just it's very surface, it's, like, it's very straightforward. It's just very straightforward. Yeah. yeah, and I and like and a lot of people are like take that as a bad thing. I'm like, no, it's nice because you don't have to worry about plot details while you're just staring there in awe at what the fuck's happening because you know you know what's happening. Why? Because the story's simple. <laughs> like I was part of the zero cultural impact crowd because I think it's funny. Oh. At the end of the day, I don't care. Like, it's kind of an avatar. I've seen the first one. It's fine. I don't think I, was, I, I saw it once like four years ago for the second time, and I was like, okay. Okay, you know, I could argue. You know, I could see the zero cultural impact side of things because, but I also see that as more of a. It's really funny because it's like. I see that so more. Money. I also, but I see that to me as more of a. To me, I see that more as attack on like the nature of like what popular culture values. Oh yeah. Right, like more than I see it as like a diss on Avatar, because yeah, it does, it hasn't had a huge cultural impact because I don't think people understand what's impressive about it. 
right? People, all the the true critics, right, told everybody why it was special, and they went and saw a cool alien sci-fi movie, right? Where yeah, it's like it looks really pretty because you can see that, but like even from like a, a like to understand photography technique, like when they film like this shit, when it's like they're flying on the birds or whatever, and they like dip into the water. Yeah, it's like understanding that level of the of the the technical achievement, right? It's there's a lot of Again, like, the whole reason he did Way of Water and why it took so long is because it was literally like, uh, we couldn't make water look this good in the first one. <laughs> like, yeah, that was, like, that, that's his, that's literally how he works. It's, it's like they use real-ass film, filmmaking techniques in an entirely CGI movie, which is a holy shit. Yes. And, and the crazy thing is even though people don't like the character of Spider, again, it's another technical achievement thing. They made a human character operate seamlessly in a completely CG environment with all CG cast, and it, he did that. and he fits. He fits naturally, and he looks perfect. Like, that's what's I saw, crazy. I saw something about, like, the behind the scenes, but they had to film, like, like, mm -hmm. normal Avatar size, like, Navi size, and then, uh, what's it called? Spider size. Yeah, they the had to do time. They had to do like all sorts of. The they had to do all sorts of crazy stuff, on and on top of that, like, like, uh, yeah, like, and a lot of people just shit on it because they're like, oh, I didn't like this character. It's like you don't understand. The character is there. They just needed an excuse to show you that they could put a human here. They wanted to show you that they could fit a human in this environment, and they created one for the story, right? Are they, are they not the most well written? No, and I don't. They're not are supposed they to. Fucking, are yeah. They like, ask me pieces when it comes to like. Like my, filmmaking? Yes. my argument will always be something along the lines of like, yeah, I look at something like, um, Alan Wake 2, is that the most fun game to play? No. Like, it's gameplay's fine. It's not, it's not great, it's not bad, it's fine. Right? But it, it's an incredible story. The, part, the parts are on not the part. Yeah, like, I'm interested for, like, I'm like, okay, can we skip, I wanna just, uh, can I watch the movie now? Like, the, but at the same, fun, or it's not even, it's not even, can I watch the movie? It's like, can I walk around slowly in this world? Like, yeah, like, it's, it's, because part of it is I can't say it's the movie-like aspect of it, because I've always said, like, it has to be a game. I would like some heavy demo, please. Like, yeah, the shooting part was, like, my least favorite, because the shooting doesn't feel that good. But, like, it felt, you know, yeah, it felt better than I was expecting, given Alan Wake 1. Oh, yeah, but it runs, it runs mild. But like, like, I found it engaging, but I, I played it on hard just because I was like, oh, this will keep it scary. Kind of worked. The detective work and the, um, and make sure you're still standing when the dust like, everything is. else. Detective work and, like, the, the the very scripted set pieces, like, the musical number is, like, dude, this is, this is amazing. This is round 10, right? Yes. Because we're on the boss. I got the fire enemies. I need a fire The zero culture impact thing. Like, I think it's funny just because like they're losing so much fucking money. And it, it kind of does have like not zero. No, no, but I get what you're saying. Like it didn't leave an impression in the public conscious at all. But the but the public conscious. No, like nothing's opinion, nothing. In their like, opinion, fucking Spider-Man is a joke. It's a godsend. Like, well, yeah. And the weird thing to me is like like that movie didn't like. It didn't leave behind like a legacy in like sci-fi. Like nothing's really taken from its concepts in any way. And it's like that's yeah, because it's it's not about the story. That's it's just hard to get people across to people. Yeah, Cameron, James Cameron's other sci-fi episode. What's it called? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Just touch the zone. Where did they put the zone? Oh, 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 yeah, here. Oh, I gotta you fucker! I did it. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, uh, what's my quest at now? Probably sadness. Uh, I keep tracking it. What, what do you mean not track? Oh, it's in my quest book. 80%. Okay. Let's do one more. Uno es more. Uno es more. I should be able to get the last 20% here. Ah, oh, for my guillotine. Yay! I just need to get it, because if I don't, it's gone tomorrow, right? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's, that's why I'm crying. <laughs> it's like shit. It's gonna be gone. So, no. I, I think it's gone tomorrow. That would make sense, but like. Because they're rotating in a new set. Yeah. And they and they thrive on FOMO, so you know they're gonna take it out. But the same at the same time, it's a quest. So I don't know. Enjoy yourself, guys. Did we load into one? There can be poetry no. in destruction. Write me some poetry. Do it. Is that Lord Shaxx bullying me into writing him a poem? Is he asking you to write him a poem? Yeah. Oh, yeah, probably. He does that sometimes. Give me sword kills or give me death. Why can't I just like buy an ammo chest with this? God damn it. Does that make sense? You have to rely on if the game feels nice enough to give you also, the ammo Also, is there is is it just a coincidence that all the store shaders are really shiny? But the other ones aren't? Or is that I believe it is, actually. Okay, because I've noticed that all... shiny, like, non-store shaders, too. Okay, because I've looked through all of the shaders I've been given, and they all have, like, a sheen to them, most of them, but, like, the ones in the store are like, whoa! <laughs> like, yeah, they're yeah. bright. Like, don't kill them all. This game has a lot of shaders, and a lot of them are just, like, very, like, brown, and like, like, like black. Oh. Oops. Um, I might have killed myself on the bad guys. Uh, why'd you do that, buddy? This guy's almost the diabetic. Gamers call me the diabetic. Gamers don't call me anything because they don't show up to my stuff. <laughs> don't show up to my streams. Yeah, don't cry about it. Like, if, if I'm going by my comments, actually, gamers call me the uh, White Knight SJW Cuff. Hey, you know, they're not wrong. <laughs> it just goes to show how uh, how creative these people are. Hey, heavy bombs. Um, Perfect. Wait, it goes away? Yeah, bye. No, 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 no. No, you're kidding. No, no. What? So the guy opened it before you came here? No! Oh. <laughs> Mr. Diabetic. Well, you know, you already have a user or whatever. This is supposed to show how the, the lack of creativity the in, the year, in the year 2024, you're calling me an SJW white knight or a cuck. I hate that they use the word cuck because I like calling people a cuck, but now it, 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 it like codes me a certain way. I'm like, oh. Cuck's very much an adaptive vibe. I, I know. I think it's a that original on Fortune. Actually, no, it's a couple of years away. Yeah. <laughs> Cuckold is also just a word. Yeah. So Cuckold is the act of being a cuckold. I'm participating. <clears throat> it's, actually, it's actually the lack thereof. <laughs> oh! Well, <Whoa>, shit. <laughs> God damn it, you know what I mean. I was like flabbergasted when they were calling a, a white knight and an SJW. I'm like, what year is it? <laughs> what is it? Like, people call me new names on the internet. I can't take it anymore. Chapel Fluff better not take the hot. Oh, yes, I got it. Was there another one that he took? No, I got, I got the quest. It's done. Oh, finally, got my falling guillotine. That's all I wanted. Oh, I don't even know. Be a static roll? I'm pretty sure it is, but I'll watch it not be. 
but, but, but. I think it is because everybody's talking about it. But if not, I don't care. I just want I just want the sword. I can farm for it. I just want I just want to like actually like start getting it. Yeah, like at least get drops of it to start rolling on it. It's not on top. A uh, grenade launcher that uh, you can use to rocket jump. What else? What else are we getting? Are we getting a shotgun? Because there's no shotgun right now. So, Damn it. There's no shotgun right now. Shotgun. Really? I mean, they, they do get reprised, but it's like Matador, uh, Canadian, like, they're all like already in activities. Well, I don't have any anything good, like, goddamn. I can't get any of them to drop, so I'll take one in the slot if they add one. Because I know, I know Matador, Matador 64 is a dungeon drop in the grass with my um, Which, that one, that one's good. And I know you have that one too, it's pretty good for the Uh, Matador's a good, Matador's but, a good shotgun. I think Matador but, but it's exotic, right? No, Matador's not. Where do you get it? The dungeon. Oh, Dungeons okay. have their own specific loot for you. Yeah. So, I think that I think that dungeon actually drops two shotguns. Both have one two punch. Because I know I have one of them with one two punch. So, are weapons from onslaught considered seasonal weapons? Depends if this mode stays or not. They're brave arsenal weapons. I don't know. Like, okay. I don't know what the fuck that one is. I'd imagine this mode stays. How is it, what makes a weapon seasonal? <laughs> uh, when it's like... So like, when you go to your, uh, battle pass... This is a game if you earn it in there? Potential. If, yeah, if proud. it's a, uh, if you earn it from either the battle pass or a seasonal activity, then, uh... Gotcha. Uh, once, once that season, you can't access it anymore, it'll, uh... It just gets thrown in, or once... Once that year's worth of content expires, all those uh, old weapons get thrown into the world loot pool. Okay. It's actually like that. So it's like kind of FOMO, but it's not at the same time. But it's still attainable afterwards. It's just a lot more. I don't have my grapple, so you know, I got it. I got it. Got the 100 yard gun. 190. 180. Got the 70. The 60. The 50. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. Fuck He's it. doing it. God damn it. He's pushing me out of the way. Touchdown. Damn. That's just the first five? Yep. Or, that should be like round. That should put us at round seven. Oh, round seven. Oh, so there's only two more rounds for the. Okay. Yeah, because I think the uh, that counts as a round. Okay. And that's between five and six. There it is, that, round I six. I think that is, that is six. Okay, gotcha. And then this one will be seven. But that's if I'm a smart man. If I'm a dumb man, then that's not the case. But I will be proven right or wrong here in a second. Is it fucking over around? What the hell? Is it too early for that or something? That, I've never seen that. Like seven ogres just walked out at once. Is ogre round normally later or something? No, there's no ogre round. That's not like, oh, I'll, 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 I've, oh, I've had a couple of rounds with just all ogre, like a ton of ogres. I've never had that. Oh, I've had. We, you've had, we had that. You weren't paying attention. We had that earlier. Oh, nothing. Is this? It might have been what. It might have been when you were doing. Effort. I please have my fucking strand or no, I kept picking up the stupid battery instead. <laughs> that is, that is. Oh god. Ugh. Oh 
hit me. Oh, some lizard bitch. Good work, Guardian. Your light is strong. He's here. Oh, man, he's here. Just keep rotating the maps in for it. Yeah, keep adding in the map. But, the, but, that, but, that, but that would require them to keep. That would require them to keep making crucible maps. Which I heard they don't like doing. This, <laughs> this one only uses like two, two sure crucible maps. This one only uses like two crucible maps. Oh, okay. What? Well, there aren't so there three like, maps? There's, uh, there's like ten more, I think. But there's three right now. Uh, that's a, the well. That one's on the cosmic zone. That's just like. Oh, one of them's on the cosmic. It's not like a... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You think they would really have a PvP map on the Cosmic Ring? Oh, they they're, they're lucky if they get a map from D1. They're lucky if they get a map from D2 that they took out. That's how you get some Joy Bringer? Oh boy. Uh, Best director. And then light. All champions. Oh. So is 1830 the highest you can get right now? Nope. You can go past that. Oh, okay. But 1810 is still the hard, like, power cap for like effective like gear power okay because i know grandmaster nightfalls are currently 1840 power and then they put you 25 under so that'll be 1815 as your effective power okay, Careful with that. La 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 Give me my sword. Careful with that. Yes, finally. Can't even give it to me at 18, can you? Fuck. Hopefully, this is a sturdy <laughs> issue. Why? Uh, Does it have Relentless Strike and uh, Whirlwind Blade? Let's see. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, you'll be good for that one. Oh. Steep and strap. Damage reports are coming in across the system. My Red Jacks are spooked. You're doing your part out there, I hope. But the Crucible yeah, always throw. needs more fighters. There we go. 
Haha. Let's put on this. Let's go here. Ooh, we stand against bosses and vehicles. Extend against power enemies. Well, it looks pretty. Pretty sword. My question for the Keanu Reeves casting is how the fuck did they turn him into Shadow? <laughs> oh my god, in just in time, I have to leave here in just a few minutes. ADZ needs our help, we, did, we did it. Get out there. Yay! 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. Okay, cool. Uh, here we go. I'm using the Rainer Sats. Is that uh Okay, gather round. Put this one on. Given time, darkness will encroach again. We have there to we be ready. Take that. So now I have two masterwork weapons. Yay! Uh, now what else do I need? So my strength is at 99. That's fine. Uh, I need discipline and resilience. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Going on in the um talk to me guardian in an episode of fallout there's a uh there's an office with a, a easter egg that pod hat and this painting is visible in the background of a shot check your dms wait oh okay let me see it. <laughs> wait that's great oh my god they're they're meme lords i love it but it's like a blink and you'll miss it like detail because like you can barely see it in the back that's fun That. And it has resilience buff. I need a bigger resilience buff. Oh, man. Wait. Um. I'm hungry for news, Guardian. So 10, and then this can have that. Victory smells nice, Guardian. But the Red Legion's not gone. Stay with that. Wait. I'll see that. Okay. There we go. Oh, no, Cora. Lay down. This game hates me. I'm not allowed to dance. You're not allowed to dance. It's because you're AFK I dancing. I you're doing your part I out there, right now. But the Crucible always needs more fighters. You said you wanted dynamic sway reduction and frenzy for the recluse, right? Uh, that's one of the good rolls. Yeah, did you get that? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good PvP roll. Okay, I'll keep that one then. Crucible needs me, Guardian. Are you ready to deploy? Shut up, Shax. Fuck. <laughs> God, he doesn't stop talking. I used to throw dodgeballs at the kids, Guardian. <laughs> that's one of the that's one of his idol lines at the tower. Is it really? 
Talk about how he used to play dodgeball with the kids of the last city. <laughs> and then he'd, he'd get like real, he'd get like mad and start throwing it at him. Jesus. That was a good, uh, as he does a joke, of course, naturally. Did I please get, uh, did I not really get an artifact level up? Really? Give time, darkness will encroach again. We have to be ready. Uh, okay, I guess not. So, I am now Guardian Ring 6. Let's go to Veterans. That was really neat. Have I earned anything else? I need to do the weekly mission, which I guess I'll do tomorrow. Or I guess, let me do later tonight. And then I need more seasonal stuff. Vendor rank ups. Increase your reputation level with the Season 23 Vendor. Okay, so this is all stuff in the seasonal. That is, the heaven. Stun Unstoppable Champions. Okay. Barrier. Can damage barrier shields. When you have unraveling rounds. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Triumphs. Meow. Crucible gets harsher every uh, day. It has to. I make sure of it. Okay. Grab this. Grab this. One. What else? Yeah. Okay. You're doing your part out there, I hope. But the crucible always needs more fighting. Okay. Done all the stuff I can grab. Let's grab this. More button. This. And then clean that out. We're good. Okay, I'm going to end the stream here. Thanks to everybody who stopped by. Everybody has been hanging out or just lurking. Appreciate it. Nice chatting with some there, people that play the game. The and uh, yeah, be back at it. Maybe tomorrow. I might take a day tomorrow to work on the Final Fantasy video. We'll see. Uh, depends. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for stopping by. Peace out. And we'll be back What's at going it. On out there? Later. Bye. Talk to me, Guardian.